Dress all the goofies. Why you so jealous? Huh? Why you so jealous? You just mad. You just mad. Because I am winning, winning, winning. Why you so jealous? Somebody. Why you so jealous? I am C and A. And I can't do it my way. Why you so jealous? Huh? Why you so jealous? Uh, I am winning, 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 winning. winning. Why you sending sin? Why you so jealous? Why you so jealous? Uh, keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. Why you so jealous? Huh? Why you so jealous? Huh? Hey, Melissa. Hey, Coco B in the building. Charlene in the building. Yes. Come on in. Why you so jealous? Because I sang Jay Z. And now you feeling shitty. Why you so jealous? Coco B, let's go back to the casino. I need that thousand again. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hey. Preach, 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 preach. Come on. Hey, Charlene. I hope to see you at the meet and greet on the 15th. Am. C and A, and who cannot have it your way? Why you so jealous? Huh? Why you so jealous? Ah, what up, what up, what up, my 4 C game for life? Now, look, I'm on here. I'm feeling good. Thank God. Hold on. Let me see if my new phone works. I just got a new phone. I am, I got some shit I want to get off my chest. I am feeling good tonight. Um, I'm a celebrity. 
Y'all saw that earlier. <laughs> but let's keep it real tonight. I'm going to talk about some shit. Trust and believe. About 89 to 90% of the shit I say always comes to fruition. In these YouTube streets, y'all seen people come at me left and right. Oh, Michael wrong. I can't believe it. One minute, they, they taken up for me and had my back. The next minute, these bitches mad. Mad. And cannot tell you why they mad at me. They're mad because I say, once you move differently, I'm not going to fuck with you anymore. Y'all done said uh, everything under the sun about me. But I'm going to tell you this. You had bitches that said they are the 4C gang. Let me tell y'all, first of all, it's not a real game. If it was a real game, I would have jumped you bitches in. And in order for you hoes to leave, we would have jumped you out. <laughs> if I see any of you bitches with 4C game tattooed on y'all, you bitches crazy. But I've been watching these YouTube streets. Hey, Kicking It With Lynn, baby. Let me drop the link because I think Kicking It With Lynn would have something to say, too. I am going to say this. Half these bitches that were mad at me, do y'all notice all them hoes mad at each other now? And who is sitting over here in his own lane not giving a fuck? Them same bitches that said I want shit and all clung together because they had to clean together because I'm the type of nigga you can't come at by yourself. You need a motherfucking group. Where the fuck is that group at now? All you motherfuckers that came against me, y'all looking stupid as hell in these YouTube streets. And yes, I'm talking about it. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm that bitch. I ain't scared of nobody. And I'm still that nigga. Y'all look dumb as hell. Y'all all came up against me. And you bitches are crumbling now. Don't come on my channel. Why you over here? Fuck you. Fuck. See, y'all some back and forth goofy bitches. The same bitches that were on panels talking about me are the same bitches that all are into it now. But you know what I'm doing? I left you hoes alone. I'm sitting right here. Because you only got one time to come at me sideways. You only have one fucking time. Bitches got mad at me because I didn't let him up on my panel. Bitches got mad at me because I stopped fucking with him. Bitches got mad at me because y'all was acting different. But it feels good to sit back and watch you bitches implode yourself. Watch you bitches crumble. Some of you hoes probably like, one thing, when I was dealing with CMA, he gave me exposure. He gave me shine. Half you bitches got shine because you was over here. I've never seen a bunch of ass kissing. Baby, you cannot lay me out the way some of you bitches laid each other out. Y'all talked about each other's children. Y'all went so deep, and yet you hoes so thirsty. You hoes are so thirsty to have you bitches are lonely in real life. Because I don't need a friend. I'm try I got too much family to have to meet a bunch of bitches I've never met in my life. I'm just saying, y'all looking real stupid right now. And whoever think I'm talking about them, fuck you. Whoever think I'm talking about them, if you feel like it fit, yes, I am. Y'all know who the group of you motherfuckers was sitting around coming for CMA? And look at y'all. That's why I don't fuck with y'all, because it always goes in a circle. You hoes talk about each other, then be friends the next... I'm not that type of nigga. Mm -mm. Once I let your ass have it, I'm good. I'm done. And I'll say this. You bitches probably mad at each other right now. Y'all will be friends before it's over. That's what y'all do. I've looked. I've saw. Just like they let the two queens let PP have it. I hear they back friends now. That's what y'all do. But I'm over here in my lane. 
Yes, I'm going to talk about it. It's hilarious. Y'all some dumb bitches. Don't come on my panel. Don't do this. I mean, y'all have laid each other out, talked about each other's children, all of that bullshit. You can't tell me I got AIDS. You can't talk all that shit about me, and then I'm going to smile in your motherfucking face. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all some thirsty, lonely bitches. It's funny to me now. All you bitches that were over here, we love you, CMA. Look what the fuck. Some of y'all living in hotels. Some of you bitches are living in a hotel right now, but you talked about me. Y'all bitches that stood up together are not together anymore. And that's why I left y'all the fuck alone because y'all some wishy-washy bitches. I'm loving it. I sit back and I laugh at you motherfuckers. I allow most of you bitches to slide. I allow, don't think that I just gave up. Bitches waving flags and shit, bitch. Oh, we won. Bitch, what did you win? The same bitches that y'all into it now. And I'm sitting over here looking at y'all like y'all a bunch of motherfucking fools. You back and forth goofy bitches. Y'all are the type that must be real motherfucking lonely. You only got one time to fuck me over. I ain't going to be on a panel with your motherfucking ass. I ain't dealing with you no more. And I'm not mad at you. It's just that I got a life. I have a life. See, what fucked y'all up is that y'all thought y'all could drag me and bring me down. Bitch, ain't nothing y'all could do to me. He's a drug addict. He got AIDS. He, bitch. I could let you hoes have it if I wanted to. And y'all lucky that I've been trying to take the high road. Bitch is putting up pictures of a dirty ass kitchen with me. I can clean my kitchen, but can you bring a sister back? Bitch is calling me child molester. All of that. But where you lonely hoes at now? I was able to walk away. You bitches all mad at each other now. Oh, let me bring some out. You bitches all mad at each other. This is my girl. You bitches all mad at each other now. Hey, Lynn, baby. Hey, what's happening? Hey, listen. I was just sitting here. You know, lately I've been good and not really fucking with nobody, right? Right. But you know what's so funny? All these what? bitches that came up against me and look, because you can't come for me by yourself. Mm. Yes, I have went toe to toe and I could I couldn't even did more but it's so funny to see these bitches all of them at each other now well you know that's how they do and look one thing I'll say about you um real recognize real me and you ain't never got into it but if we had got into it Lynn I ain't gonna backtrack and come after me and you didn't talk about each other like a motherfucking dog then dragged each other through the YouTube streets. I mean, bad as hell, too. My and buddies. I have a real life. I got friends in real life. Mm -hmm. So I really think that YouTube is really... People say, oh, you always on YouTube. Yes, bitch. And there's always people sitting to the side that you don't even know. But you some lonely bitches that need friends. Mm -hmm. These bitches came up against me. And now all of them... Why are you on my panel? Don't come on my... You bitches got mad because I didn't allow you on my panel because I didn't fuck with you no more. And let me tell you hoes this. Any bitch that's counting my numbers, I'm still outdoing you hoes. I really realize... I used to be a numbers person. Oh, your video ain't that. Baby, it ain't about the video. It's about your support. But you hoes that said I am the force of game. First of all, it's, wait... You hoes are talking about I'm a force. It. it ain't really a game, dumb bitches. <laughs> it's just funny. Have you been watching this shit, Lynn? Not really. Did you see where I, I think August and PP and them that made up, they cussed her out. 
This is mm -mm. the same, this is the same woman that when I said don't fuck with her, and look, I had no problem. I walked away. So for that person to say that I'm mad because PP, they said this, you're mad because you knew that one your real sister and you can't be up under her anymore. I made that bitch. Right. I've, I've always been in my own lane. But it's funny to see you fuckers. See, because I never teamed up with anybody to let any of you hoes have it. I came at y'all toe to toe by my motherfucking self. One by one. You got one bitch that still tell you every time she feed her child because I put that narrative out there. You got a fat ass. Yes, I'm letting <laughs> you bitches have it. <laughs> Pamela man, motherfucker. <laughs> even, the oh, same shit. bitch that you tried to take from me won't even let you on the panel no motherfucking more. Falling mm -hmm. in love over the internet, bitch. I'm just laughing and I'm feeling Baby, trust and believe. I didn't never. You hoes came to my panel. I didn't go to name one of you. you. Half you bitches didn't even have a, a channel. And you come over here, get your shine, and then think you better than me. Get the fuck out of here. These bitches all mad at each other. Instead of being able to know how to walk away, if I don't want to fuck with you, I don't want to fuck with you. You and I have never got into it, kicking it with Leanne. Right. No, even, not ever. Even when my sister called you a bitch. <laughs> uh -huh. Right. But my thing is so funny to see them go back and forth. And these the same bitches that will be friends next week. Right. That Listen, that lets me know you don't have a life. You don't have a life. It's no fucking way. There are some people that have let me have the same way. You're not going to bust me. Me and you ain't going to be sitting there having a drink. And you take a bottle and bust me in the head. And now I got 20 stitches. And next week, we back on the porch drinking together. Mm -hmm. You better hope I don't have a drink and want to knock your ass. Because if I drink with your ass again, it's because I want to get you back. Mm -hmm. Come on. This shit is funny in these YouTube streets. It is. I don't need a group. I don't need to clean with nobody. I don't need, baby, I love my subscribers. The ones that I don't make up fake pages. You got bitches that make up fake pages. They get mad. They they want to come in your chat. Bitches, first of all, you have some bitches so thirsty for attention that mm -hmm. they will come ask to, you. They know you don't fuck with them and still will hit a link trying to come up on your panel. Get the fuck out of here. You better say it. I do not play that. I was with boy, Money Boy dropped a link the other day. And he didn't know that it was True Hurts. And I hit the link. And I'm on True Hurts panel. I love, shout out to True Hurts. I love him, nothing against her. I get up there, boy, stop capping up there. I didn't even know that. I was pissed because I'm not phony like that. I'm not even going to be on a panel with your ass. Nothing against you. I just don't, I'm not phony. I don't fuck with you. So I told her, hey, um, blah, 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 and drop down. Go back to Money's boy, and then he brings a boy up, and I drop right down. We're not even finna be in the same fucking conversation. Nothing against you. Wish your ass well, but I won't fuck with your ass. Because you Say bitches have one time you. to wish do me. your ass well, but I won't fuck with your ass. You have one time to do me wrong. Y'all some lonely bitches. Because the same hoes that was gung-ho, shoulder to shoulder, running together, now you don't even want each other on the panel. Y'all some fickle-minded hoes. You got some bitches, they want to run around. I don't trust bitches that jump from panel to panel. Oh, right. I'm going to clear my name. Bitch, don't nobody know your name. The, listen. And it's funny. I'm looking at you hoes right now. You're funny. I've never seen so. How many times, Lynn, did you see me get into it and go back and forth and, and be cool with somebody? Once I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to jump on your panel to prove shit because I can be on my. See, that's the problem. 
some of these bitches got channels and their channel is irrelevant. So they go to other people's channel because they know they'll be seen more. That's true. You do you think look, you don't think that I know that bitches came to my channel because they know they would be seen over here? Well, yeah. Come on. And these the same bitches that's trying to talk about my views now. I'm gonna tell you this. Let me tell you bitches this. I don't give a fuck if I have two views. You bitches still won't outdo me. <laughs> Bitch, I still got gifts I ain't even open. You yeah, sorry, bitches. Dang, there's a lot going on on YouTube right now, huh? Listen, they all them fell out with each other. What? What? Mm -hmm. The same bitches that were all cool as hell. Now you have them saying, don't come back over to my motherfucking panel. These are all the bitches that came up against me. Michael, you lying. Listen, girl, I could, I, listen, I don't go look at their channel, but people call me and mm. they tell me, um, you had the boys cussing Philly out. You had Shelby cussing Anaya. You had Shelby telling boys stop capping, don't come on the panel. All, come on, Shelby telling Anaya don't come over here because they feel Anaya sent the video to money. But see, that's the bullshit that I don't fuck with. Because ain't no real love on these YouTube on. streets. And these bitches, listen, outside of YouTube, I have a life. Right. I ain't trying to. There's very a lot of people like, hey, can I call you off? No. I have a life. I got mm -hmm. a big ass family. I don't have to fuck with people like that. And I step back. And one thing people can say about me is that when I stop fucking with somebody, I stop fucking with them. Because what's this back and forth shit don't work for me. I'm too old. For, I'm 53 for a motherfucking reason. But you know what, Michael? What's that? Some people, you know, in real life, if they nobody pays them no attention, and then they get on here on YouTube, mingling with the people on YouTube, and then they, you know, the people start paying them some attention, they feel fabulous. You know what I'm it's, saying? They, it's, it's <laughs> they get up on themselves, and they be, you know, because they ain't used to that type of attention, and any type of attention to them is good, That whether it be somebody talking about them, or, or whether, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, that is, I've said that so many times, Lynn. Some of these bitches with nerds in school sit at, at the lunch table by themselves. Yeah. So if you come on here and you jump from panel to panel to panel, mm -hmm. baby, I traveled the motherfucking country mm -hmm. and work. I work with people. And so my thing is there. And I'm the type of nigga that I can be by my motherfucking self and be all right. And do. And some of these people not used to it. Um, you don't think you had people coming over here tomorrow. I'm gonna take up for you, sports C, um, CMA, and I didn't even know these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And you went from panel to panel because it made you relevant. Mm -hmm. And and then some of you business probably kicking yourself in the ass because you like I had I wish I hadn't got into it with CMA because it's so funny. And I'm gonna tell you, I chuckle when I hear you bitches get into it that came up against me and now you holes into it, I chuckle. The fuck? Lonely bitches. <laughs> Lonely. Because you yeah. would listen. Well, listen. you know the old saying, birds of a feather flock together. I, you know I, what I'm saying? And after a while, shoot, them birds be into it. I'm just saying whoever it is, who are, you know, you know who be doing it. I know a few people that you're talking about, but I have not seen all of the... Listen, I just found out yesterday about the Sweetie Pie suing Philly Phil. You ain't been watching my channel, girl, because I've been putting my foot on her neck. I, I haven't watched it yet. I just not, I just found out two days ago, and I've started to call you, but I've been having my great-grandbaby, so I've been busy. But I was like, what in the heaven snapple is going on on YouTube? And look, I started to call you to ask you had you heard. My I didn't. Look, my thing is this. In these YouTube streets, if you, I have my own mind, my own thought, and everything that I'm doing. People look, oh, he ain't got the views he used to have. That ain't stopped no money. But mm -hmm. I laugh. I'm much more peaceful without the rhetoric and these fake phony bitches. 
And to see these hoes all into it with each other now, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Bitches came at me a lot of time. I let them slide with it. Even I'm such in a better place because I've looked at videos that I really didn't even know. I could see a picture in my name next to it. I could drag these bitches because I'm still that nigga. But sometimes you have to sit back and just let shit happen. Mm -hmm. And to see these hoes, the same two bitches that was coming for me, now the one bitch telling the other bitch, don't come on my panel no more. You're fake. You're phony. All you hoes fake and phony. That's why you bitches where y'all at. And your channel ain't shit because you got to go other places to be seen. I do everything right on this motherfucker. But Michael, you know what? What? You ain't finna cuss me out. And then two weeks later, we gonna be chit-chatting and stuff. You know, like you what you talking about? The people on here cutting up, cut cussing each other out, dragging each other down. Ain't nobody on YouTube gonna cuss me out and we're gonna be friends. We are but not gonna be friends. We are not gonna be cordial. I'm not freaking with you. No, you know what I'm saying? And and that's my thing. It I, was, why would I trust anybody like that? I could I didn't couldn't trust you the first time. I gave you a little bit of trust and you mistrusted that. So why would I let, allow you to get me a second time? Wait, first of all, this is with me. If I go there and I gotta go that hard on you, baby, we didn't already went there. Okay. I, it's too many people in the world, and I have a real life for some bitches mm -hmm. I don't even know. So yeah. to see these bitches, there have been people that talked about each other's children that went the fuck off and hated each other. Not the kids. And now look, the besties. They besties. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Whoa. Rewind. You said they was talking about the kids. Yeah, but I was And now they friends. Look, and friend. Ain't uh -uh. You, that's ain't that's you crossing the line. But I'm going to tell you this. This is another thing I don't like about motherfuckers on here. Don't put some shit out there and let somebody have it and then say kids off limit because somebody said, oh, the only reason he get checked is because he got AIDS, right? Now, mm -hmm. if I had to came back and said, bitch, your child got AIDS, why would I be wrong? See, people really come at me because of my delivery. Mm -hmm. Bitch, if you don't want me to come for you, don't come for me. As Coco B say, don't throw a pebble and what we'll CMA throw a boulder back at your ass. Now your feelings hurt. And Michael, is you still standing? Am I still what? You still standing? I'm baby still. Look, ain't went no motherfucking where. Okay. Bitches left but still always in my bushes. Watch it. Can't even talk on their own panel because they're irrelevant. Mm-hmm. I I stand in my 90% of the shit I've said on YouTube has come to fruition. Oh, mm -hmm. he lying. He lying. But when they find out I'm telling the truth, ain't no bitch said, Michael, oh, we didn't know you. You was telling the truth. Well, a lot of them be on here lying. So, I, you know, a lot, a lot they, they know they be lying, making up stuff and everything else. But, you know, people like that, though. They can't stand when you tell the truth. My thing is this. The one thing that I loved about you when we did the interview, you one thing I'll say that you will say some shit. And my thing is this. We can listen to a many of people's um, content on their channel and probably say it's that bitch talking about me do you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's so easy but bitch if you are secure in who you are you wouldn't give a fuck unless okay a, unless a bitch say my name you ain't talking about me and listen i don't care i don't care i don't care i ain't gonna be moved by nobody on youtube they ain't doing nothing for me and my thing is this they, you, they didn't make me and they damn sure ain't gonna break me for these bitches that thought they could ever drag me or let me have it my thing is this, you can never let me have the bitch. You can have a videotape of me and I'm going to stand in that motherfucking shit. And did, you know, they had a video and you said, what was that you said, Michael? You said, and I, and I stand in my truth and wait, that and what, you know what wait, I'm saying? Wait. You was like, and so what, what about it? Wait, when they put that picture up of me. Oh yeah. About you getting the, your butt kicked. And I said, oh my And you God. said, yeah, I got into a fight. Yeah. 
Wait, I said, oh my God. I said, y'all know what? Y'all got me. I said, maybe this is just my karma and I'm tired. I said, but evidently you bitches don't know me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's what you Come said. On. I Listen. That's what you person, said. The only person that can let you have it is your motherfucking self. When you look in the mirror and you good with it, none of you bitches can dox me. But you know what, Michael? What's that? If a person can't tell that you really don't care, you really don't give a F, you know, like you just said, if a person hasn't figured that out by now, they just outright stupid. Because, like you said, all the people that done dragged you and put your name out here, talked about you like a dog, said you had AIDS, and whatever else they came up with to talk about you, and you still on YouTube doing you. Ain't Mr. B. Come on, I was just about to, ain't Mr. B. Hey, Mr. B, get on here with your damn glass across them damn legs me, uh, and listen, throw that damn head back. <laughs> okay? Uh, and my thing is this. This is me. I watch, I didn't make it to 53 for nothing. Mm -hmm. So these, half of these young bitches, half of these motherfuckers falling in love. I will never fall in love on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I've had two relationships since I've had my channel. Ain't nobody even saw that. Mm -hmm. because you know what there's a difference between this shit and real life right to where you bitches make this your real life mm -hmm. i didn't give a fuck right i didn't look people be like watch out for this person watch out no i'm grown i've never nobody's ever got shit on me i know some of you bitches came over here because that's the way you can be seen mm -hmm. i do me when I say that I don't watch you bitches, people have to, money boy tags me and shit. People tag me. But I'm looking at you funny hoes right now that are into it. They Look, even what I'm saying names tonight, even when I, I'm like this, I love my people. Either you're going to be here, if you leave, that's on you. I have no control over it. When I did that video, trying to get Anaya, Love Angel, and Shelby together, that was genuine. When that bitch, Queen Gertrude East, um, texted me and said, let me up because old oh, girl on some bullshit. I didn't know it was that heavy. They convinced Anaya so much that I set her up. So on one hand, y'all saying I took up for her. On the other hand, y'all some fickle ass bitches. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. It wasn't even, I really tried to get you bitches together. And mm -hmm. all you bitches tried to turn on me because of something good I tried to, that's why God is still keeping me. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you why God is keeping me. Fuck my damn view. There are people, the lady told me today, older lady, she cast at me 50. I said, ma'am, and does it faithfully every month. I said, ma'am, you ain't gotta do that. She said, ah, uh -uh, Michael. She said, you don't know. I don't have no family. I look forward to your videos. It makes my day. So do you think I give a fuck about some bitches I don't know? Okay. That Anaya being that damn stupid that she allowed them to flip that shit around and all of them are into it now? Mm. Panel to panel, motherfuckers. And I allowed them mm. bitches to say, I allowed them bitches to go get away with some shit. And then when I start going off, I'm the bad guy. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you this. I can outdo any one of them bitches. Because I live in my motherfucking truth. How the fuck you going to let my house have it? Whether it was dirty or not, it's my own. I'm not living with my mama. I'm not in the motherfucking hotel. Ooh. If I threw trash all across this bitch, I pay the rent to do it. Okay, listen here now. You live with your mama and trying to let my house have it. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, you got a house to throw some trash on the floor if you want to. Just like I talked to Queen the Queen tonight. And mm -hmm. I was I mean, I was telling her, she asked me, I said, I will battle hot dogs and everything for your mm -hmm. event. But I have something I have to do that day, so I can't go. Mm -hmm. And I said, Well, I'll cook. She called me. She said, You know what? I said, Are you coming to get the hot dog? She said, You ain't gotta cook. She said, God has blessed me. I didn't know. That these same bitches that didn't like me cashed at her for hot dogs and shit. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and then said, I hope Michael um, help you out. Y'all some dirty bitches. I didn't give a fuck. You should have just did it without mentioning my motherfucking name. Because mm. the only reason I wanted to fuck with her because I've never met, I've never gotten into it with any one of these bitches and wanted to go to their adversaries. Mm-hmm. I w- it's certain people you will never, you will never see me in Loka together. You will never see me in PP together. You will never see me in Boy Stop Cap. You will never see me in Shelby. You will never see me in um, Giraffe and her husband. You will never see me with some of these bitches. I didn't go to y'all. You bitches came to me. 4C gang. I didn't make you. You bitches really thought it was 4C. Uh, really a gang. Mm-hmm. Bitch, this is not real life. And just like um, they doing me a, a meet and greet on the 15th. Mm-hmm. And I really didn't think about this because when I was talking to the person, they was like, um, they kept acting like my meet and greet wasn't good. I said, no, it was fabulous. Mm-hmm. They would say, no, but let me tell you this. The reason some of us didn't come was because when syphilis made it seem like it was unsafe. Then you had the gay queen, queens talking about, I'm going to have my daddy whoop your ass. Detroit already has a reputation. So a lot of people, did, I never even thought of it that way. It was nice as hell. That bitch queen, Gertrude Eats, who's a motherfucking fan, I've never addressed your ass, bitch. You talking about I got my motherfucking soup from a motherfucking Goodwill? Bitch, you got your friend from a Goodwill. We all saw how ugly she was. And the only reason I don't really drag her because she was nice. And thank you for paying for my food. For you to get your ass, you were some motherfucking high bitch. You didn't even know it was a whole nother side over there. Shout out to Coco B that paid $500 for that motherfucking thing. It was nice. I had three cousins that rented tables to sell their motherfucking product. So I allowed that shit to slide, but bitches must forget, I get in my mood. I don't forget shit. Bitch, how you, you drove miles and miles to come see me. And that's your dumb ass. If you felt that motherfucking way, your girl who was your motherfucking lover was, you got mad because the camera was on me and her. And you talking about me, my, my suit from the Goodwill, bitch, I need to take you to the Goodwill because you look ragged as hell with your country bumpkin ass. And you're going to get on boy top cat. You know, this is the bitches I don't like. Where's your channel, ho? I don't even see her no more. That bitch hugged and kissed. I love you. I love you. But you, y'all going to say that I took her for Anaya and then Anaya allowed them. I never had a problem with her ass. But her ass was dumb enough to allow them to convince her that I set her up. What the fuck would I set them? I don't give up that motherfucking much about them. Mm-mm. When they talk about, oh, Michael really thought that Shelby and him was together. I like men. And evidently you bitches thought it was real. Do you know how many times I got off here and made love to my man? The fuck? I not, and then they say, oh, well, Michael, bisexual, you know what I am? Well, I probably, I would, look, you can buy my sex. <laughs> oh. You can buy my sex, but I'm not bisexual. So for all of that raggedy shit that they talk, I let Boy Stop Cabin do all the motherfucking videos on me and did one back on him. Tamla is a man. Mm, mm, mm. because I said, why would you go back and forth with a nigga that's gay if you're straight? None of my, I was asking my cousin, Real G, he said, it's only a bitch nigga would go back and forth. Why would you go back and forth with a gay guy and even give that even anything? That's Mm. because them bitches don't have no content. Today, when I was downtown, I'm doing a little short, I got up to have them girls subscribe to my channel when i jumped up see i said excuse me they was like cma 4c gang get the fuck out of here and that's my detroit people you had people talking about i one minute i'm a crackhead the next minute i'm buying subscribers make it make sense because if i had money and was doing that do you think i would waste it on subscribers 
Mm. What you bitches is, y'all need to take a book out my page and wonder why, how I'm doing what I'm doing. Come on. Come on, somebody. Have you bitches got a channel and the people that's on your channel, it's because they know y'all asses from me. Then you had this punk motherfucker come out. YouTuber of the week one shit. Bitch, where you at now? You still ain't monetized, motherfucker. I got a channel with 11,600, and that's just for fun. And it ain't about how many you got, bitch. It's about what you do. Ungrateful motherfuckers. And I'm looking at you dumb bitches. Oh, I'm on one tonight. Stupid asses. All you bitches tried to get together and come up against me. Where the fuck are y'all at now? In shambles. Mad at each other. You know who I'm not mad at? Myself. Because I left you bitches alone. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Now it's, wait. It may be one or two. Because I, and my thing is this. I'm not mad or have a grudge against any of them. But my thing is this, you bitches came to me. I didn't go to name one. I didn't know y'all. Y'all jumped out the bushes. Y'all said 4C game. And then when you bitches left here, y'all tried to make it seem like I sent you bitches to take up for me. I, I can take up for my motherfucking self. Y'all dumb asses went from panel to panel talking about 4C game. And you're so dumb, the bitches are drug y'all asses y'all cool as hell with now. Wow. You're begging for motherfucking friends. <laughs> some some motherfuckers are, I like I let the little girl go for me. Call me a child molester. But when I started talking about feed the baby, why you talking about her child? Why the fuck is y'all talking to me about talking about a child when somebody calling me a child molester? Why is somebody coming for me when bitches are calling me out my name? But I stood back. Who called? Who called you a child molester? Shall we did. That's a new one. Did you touch your niece and nephew? Uh uh. -uh. Only the truth hurt. So when I kept saying, "Did you feed your child?" And I, bitch, make a listen. Make one if you want to, bitch. I'll make your ass relevant, little girl. I'm telling you, I'll let you hold slide. Because the funny thing about it. I'm going to get you bitches back together because y'all going to have to get back together because you bitches can't come for me one by one. Y'all need bitches on your panel. Baby, I can do the I, Coco. I've never needed Coco bad at her own motherfucking right. And, and bitches couldn't stand her. I've had bitches come at me for saying some shit that they was doing. None of you bitches could even really say why y'all was mad at me. What the real thing was, you was mad because I said I'm not fucking with you. I'm still here. Some of you bitches ain't even got to a thousand subscribers yet. People talked about, wait, oh, he ain't got to a thousand yet. Even before I, my money is no different before I got to the thousand to now. It's just extra. And you bitches counted my gifts. You bitches called my subscribers stupid because y'all was over here. To, oh, thank you for that cash. Y'all always over here watching my shit. Y'all need to take a page out of my motherfucking book. You bitches clinging to PP's ass because this bitch has found one niche that's probably going to take her ass down. I have no respect for her because you can't talk about Miss Robbie and and or allow people on your channel about her mother lee because she got her child's back you wouldn't know about it because you ain't have yours oh anybody that called a granddaughter a bitch is not cool in my book and you have people just up her ass and they're up her ass because of the fact that they think she's winning baby watch she losing in and that's not because I wanted to. That's just because of what she put on her damn self. I haven't seen any of the videos that she made about Sweetie Pies. I mean, I, you, you you can see them. Well, she started you know. 
she started a GoFundMe account for one minute to try to get an attorney. What? What? Yeah. You didn't hear that? She did what? Started a GoFundMe account to try to get. She took it down. I, I heard she got about two hundred eighty-four dollars. A GoFundMe page to do what? For an attorney because Robbie is suing her, Miss Robbie. Yeah. And first she said, "Well, let me call my attorney." Bitch, you ain't got no attorney on lock like that. And if you feel like you didn't do nothing wrong, she said it for five thousand. Mm -hmm. But some people are just so fucking greedy for attention that you still dropping videos, even though this woman got a lawsuit against your ass. I would at least stop to see how the shit gonna turn out. Shoot, she had a lawsuit against her own son. Look, and then let me tell you this. All and this one. Let me tell you this. I don't like PP. I'm going to always talk about it. Y'all can call it jealous if you want to, but I'm going to tell you this. You don't like who? I don't like PP. Uh -huh. Only AF, the way you did your daughter, I'm going to always talk about your ass as long as you're talking about Miss Robbie. Bitch, it was your birthday yesterday. You put that video up of your son saying happy birthday. That wasn't no current video. That was a video for, from like four or five years ago. He don't fuck with you like that. He mm -hmm. wasn't even in the same house. So Where was this go find me at on YouTube? Well, she took it down now. But, but was it on YouTube? Um, Money, Boy Money Boy Trey pulled it up. What? I did not know that. But I'm going to ask you this, kicking up with Liam. Say that your son, kicking it, real talk with B, right? Mm -hmm. Say that he killed one of your grandbabies, right? Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. Mm hmm. Would you get on social media and say, fuck him and blah, blah, blah? Or would you do that privately? Would you still have his back? I mean, I would be very upset that he would do that. But he, at the end of the day, he's still my son. Come on. You know that's, what I'm saying? Motherly he's still instinct. my son. I wouldn't understand that. I would be mad at him if he did that. We, me and him would have some problems right. privately. I would tell him how I feel. But right. uh, exactly. you know what I'm saying? That's why but, I keep saying this. They don't know because Miss Robbie ain't got on here and say my son wrong as hell. She 82. She already going through something. But we don't know. She may every time she go to visit his ass, she may slap the shit out of him. Cause this because mom, it don't it don't matter. It don't matter what our children do in life. A real parent, I'm saying it don't matter what our kids do. They can go out here and commit murder. They can do the most unthinkable. At the end of the day, they still our child. You know what I'm saying? You can't turn your back on your kids. You can, you know what I'm saying? Is you don't that, have, you don't look, agree with that everything some, that they do. You know that, what I'm saying? And you, and you just, still gonna support them. If my son did, if my son killed somebody and he was in prison, I'm going to visit my son. I'm going to put some money on this Whether book. you agree Listen, with him or not, right? Hey, you did the time. You're going to do the, you did the crime. You're doing the time. You, you shouldn't turn, have did it. You, look, you just can't turn that on and off like that. You can't turn off a, something okay. you carried in your stomach for nine months or however many months. I got another, carry. I'm just saying. Question, you know right? what I'm saying? That's still your son, whether he was a bad kid, a problem child, or what have you not. You know what I'm saying? Well, you right. did this. You got to pay for it. You know okay. what I'm saying? But at the I end of the day, I'm still his mother. I got another question for you. And this is really, you will know what I'm talking about. Say that you did get pregnant and you mm -hmm. gave a baby up for adoption, right? Mm -hmm. And that baby found you years later mm -hmm. and your first instinct was you were open to it. You, you, um, babysit the, the your daughter's grandchildren. Y'all did videos. And mm -hmm. for whatever reason it went left, mm -hmm. would you blame, would you hate on your, the, the grandkids? Never. Would you drag the daughter on social media? No, I mean, you know, first of all, you got to figure out where, where did things go wrong at? What made this relationship go left? And let's I, see if we can fix it. Do you know what I'm saying? If we what, can't fix it, I ain't been in you. I'm going to be honest. If I hadn't been in your life and we have issues and we can't come together, then we probably need to just stay separate. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to talk about her or, what, you know, now, put her bit. You know what I'm saying? But, you now know. Now, that's one thing that I do not know. See, everybody got upset with me when I put it out there that PP had a daughter she gave up for adoption. Mm -hmm. And the reason I did that, because 
when she told me, she said, you know what? I have a daughter that I gave. I was like, really? So we would talk about the daughter. And then mm -hmm. one day I said, how is your daughter doing? Fuck mm -hmm. that bitch. She's dead to me. When she said that, something in me just changed because I said, if she can do that to some, what could she do to me, right? Mm -hmm. I started moving differently. So I still, even when we got into it, I still was not talking about it until I was on a panel and Coco B said, oh my God. And she did a video saying, my brother is dead to me. So that mm -hmm. triggered something to me. And I mm -hmm. said, ain't that the same thing you said about your daughter you gave up? Mm -hmm. See, nobody understands why I did that. Mm -hmm. But whatever it was, I do not know why she went from there to there. The same way, I don't know why I had this bitch back all them times and she didn't have mine. Mm -hmm. So, but I could have appreciated you more if, it, if you said to this child, you know what? I thought I could handle it, but this is a part of my life I don't want to relive. Mm -hmm. And left it at that. Not go on here and say, I'll fight you on the street like another woman. Bitch, you jealous. You a fan. Um, the little, the grandbaby say hi to you and you say, why is this little bitch speaking to me? That's mm -hmm. evil. That's mm -hmm. evil. But yeah. yet, you're on a channel telling a whole nother family's business. But don't want yeah. nobody to tell your work. What if somebody dug in her shit and interviewed everybody? Wow. It's, it's not the message. It's the bitch that's sending the message wow. that I have an issue with. Get the fuck out of here. You over here is about to click some views, though. Because all the new people don't know the real type of bitch you is. And I'm going to keep telling the story. Be and Nicole. I can't, you know what? B, B, what's her name? B. Nicole? Yes, my niece. B. Nicole has a beautiful spirit. Mm -hmm. And you could, you would think, and she is a very, you know, she's Christian. You know, she talk about God and stuff. So you would think, what could this lady possibly do to anybody? I'm saying. Well, I'm going to tell you, listen, when she called me and she said, Uncle Mike, you know my mama more than anybody. Can you please tell my story? I said no for two weeks. I said, because if I do it, they're going to think it's out of malice. So when I did tell it, I tried to tell it in such a nice way where I did. I could have drugged PP, but I didn't. And mm -hmm. it was a backlash from that. But um, the one thing that B. Nicole always said, I, I'm not going to drag my mama. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate it for it. When that video she did, when she said, you're a little girl, that was the most well-educated black woman Mm -hmm. who was hurt as hell. Are you that was a nice video. Right, but listen, this woman called her people, called the army base to try to get her put out the army base. You did all this deceitful shit, but yet you are let a bitch on your panel talking about Miss Robbie fucked Ike. What does Miss Robbie fucking Ike have to do with Andre? Stop Wait a minute, Ike who? Ike Turner? Yes. What? Girl, are you serious? It. Listen, she had a bitch on her panel talking about, um, yeah, Miss Robbie, you couldn't sing for Ike unless you fucked him. Miss Robbie had a hand in killing her grandson. That's Shut what up. But wait, why would, you, why would you allow that? But yet you don't talk about your own shit. Well, I, I've been on here and I've talked about being molested and every fucking thing. But bitch, you want to tell somebody else's family story and don't want to tell your own. Get the fuck out of here. And you know God don't like ugly. Mm -mm. And Ain't too fond of pretty either. But listen here, you can't be... I'm just saying, this is just anybody. You know what I'm saying? When you got dirt yourself, you know Come that on. old saying, this sweep around your own yard before you go trying to sweep around somebody else's. Listen, you just got to be careful and mindful of the things that you say about other people, especially somebody in the limelight. You know what I'm saying? Because they got the money to fight you. And they'll take you to court, even if they lose, and make you spend every dollar you got. Wait, and she going, Miss Robbie got millions. Um, Somebody said that PP's boyfriend said they have a death threat. I even. Who even, got a death threat? He said somebody get, sent them a death threat. Who's, who sent who a death threat? That's what PP's boyfriend, the married man, said. Oh, they sent him a death threat? Them. Him, him, him and PP? Yeah, but listen. 
as much well, I mean, as, now listen, look, if you got a son that's a murderer, there's probably some more in the family. I'm just saying, and you know, wait, them Money people Boy, are well hey, connected. They I know will, folks. Hey, I will give Money Boy traders. He said the lady was like, they hold family murderers, and and they killed him in the bathroom, and she's talking all this. And he said, if they could kill us, how did your ass get away? Why wouldn't they kill you? At Ooh. some point, when somebody's on your panel, you can be up here talking crazy as hell. At some point, I'm going to stop you, Lynn, mm -hmm. and say, hold up. And she allowed that woman to get up there. It went from the case being about Tim Norman to being about Miss Robbie. Mm -hmm. You Wait, that's like if I do a case on you because you killed somebody. Now, I'm talking about real B, real talk with B. I'm, I'm putting his kids out there and what they did and what he did. It ain't Miss Robbie ain't on trial. And, and you're you putting her, and and you you put her business. Uh, I mean, the business is already out here. It's already out here for the world. But you, you know, YouTube is popular. But we, and it's oh, not. It's, oh. it's, it's you know when you when you speak on a story. Okay, you know, because it's like I said, everybody knows it's nationwide. People, you know, talking about it, what have you not. But when you continuously continue to do it, you know what I'm saying. That's a problem for some people. She probably wouldn't have never. I want to know how she found out. And wait a minute, my thing is this, it's not even only that. When somebody's not used, when you say, just like when me and her got into it, right? Mm -hmm. and I said, I'm sis, I'm tired of this shit. Mm -hmm. She said, bro, at least they talking about it. Let's make this money. I said, fuck the money. Some people like attention, whatever it is. Yeah, whether you're not, it's good or bad. You're not used to it. Mm -hmm. And you got people talking about, oh, you mad because she is celebrity. That ain't no motherfucking celebrity. That is one motherfucking topic. And your ass so dumb that this woman then filed a lawsuit against you and you still not stop talking about it. I would at least wait to see what the fuck gonna happen. Stop mm -hmm. saying justice for Andre and half your shit ain't even about Andre. You said justice for B. Nicole? Look, I said- Is that I said, what you said? No, I said, I made, no, I made, <laughs> it, B, I made it B. Nicole day yesterday. Oh, okay. Fuck I'm gonna have to catch up on your videos. Like Look, I said, I've been busy. I ain't really been. And the reason I did that, fuck a bitch birthday. Let's talk about the baby you had. It's gonna be her day. Every August the eighth. Every have... August the what? August the eighth is B Nicole Day. That's my fault. That's my mother's birthday. Really? That's mm -hmm. my two nieces' birthday, and that's yep. the evil, wicked witch of the West birthday as well. I had made a post about it yesterday, but my mom passed two years ago. But yeah, Wait. her birthday, August the 8th, and just Michael's birthday is August 6th. You talking about, hey, just Michael. Okay, oh. birthday, John, uh, okay. Uh, August 6th. Huh? I'm going to see how real you are, because look, first of all, thank you for that first wonderful interview, because we both was tipsy as hell. I had a teacup. Um, Can I ask you, a, and I'm, I, I just want to know if you're going to tell us who. Mm -hmm. What have you felt about since you've known PP, right? Mm -hmm. Did you were you ever? Because um, she always thought you were insinuating about her. Mm -hmm. Were you ever insinuating about her? And what was was it ever a time you liked her? Was it ever a time you didn't like her? Um, I don't know why she felt like I was insinuating about her because when I said th anything in my video and I I said her name, I said PP. I told you. You know how she be dragging stories. Well, I will, wait, I will say this. Um, <laughs> you know what um, I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hendrick, a lot of times Hendrick. I did insinuate stuff about her, and I told her, too. I said, you know, I already told you. You you a drag a story for months and Sundays. Let it go. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? She's like, I know when she was calling me, Miss Lynn. I know, but listen, I can't let it go. You know what so I'm did saying? You know, what, did you know she had a problem with you even when she would come on your panel? I didn't know she had a problem with me. And to be honest with you, I don't even care. And to be honest with you, I don't really dislike her now because I, I, I could care less about PP. To be honest with you, I could care less what she think about me. She don't do, you know what I'm saying? She don't make me. I could care less what anybody think about me on YouTube. I'm still going to live my life. Well, why you know, do you like it? People don't like me. Why? Because I ain't never did nothing to nobody on YouTube, but I get on here and talk about stuff that I see going on, and that's the problem for some people when they do it all the time. Well, you know what, Lynn? I love I her. don't care what I nobody miss, I miss, says. I miss my sister so much. Stop. No, you need to quit <laughs> it. I'm playing. 
But Michael, you know I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I will give you this. You were the one that coined the phrase two women and a man." That was hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you this: In your YouTube journey, did you think that people would come up against you when you did the interview with me? Uh, I no. Nah, to be honest with you, I didn't. Because I, I didn't see a reason for them to. It's an interview. You know, we are all grown. We need to act that, you know, carry yourself as such. You got a problem with the questions I'm asking him. I'm not asking you. I'm asking him. This is his interview. Whether you like the questions or the answers, that's not my problem. You know, people get in their feelings and take stuff so personally. I don't take nothing personal that nobody said. I really don't care. I'm going to be honest. I don't. Right. People right. might think I care, but I don't care. I develop, you know, try to develop, you know, friendships with people on YouTube. But when people show me who they were, I just back up off of you. OK, you know, it is what it is, because sooner or later, you're going to see for yourself how people really are. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take you because to get bitten your, it's going to take you to get bitten your ass, just like the rest of them did before you be like, OK, you know what? Maybe I, you know what I'm saying. I, I see what Miss Lynn was talking about, or or anybody is talking about on YouTube about whoever be out here doing what it is that they be doing. That's foul. You my know what I'm is, saying? But I, don't nobody move me on YouTube. I am my, not moved my, by it. My thing is this: a lot of people aren't truly who they are. They act like something else. Um, and then people are fake and phony. I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. They fake I'm, and they I'm, phony. And like you said, they ain't got no life outside of YouTube. They get on YouTube and people acknowledge them and they they want to be seen. They want to be heard. They go to the popular platforms, you know, where everybody's making noise exactly. and, and, exactly. and get in the comments sections and rah, 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 rah. But you still ain't nobody because what your channel doing? I'm just saying, I'm you know what I mean? Right. Look, my thing is this. And this has always been my stance when me and PP was cool with family Mackey and, and comedian L Hendricks. Mm -hmm. And when that went left and it was just me and her again, and she said, my brother is the only one that stood by me, had my back. So some people just need a group around them. So when she tried to get other group, I only have to, I only put my hand over fire once and know I get burned. You and know so what these people do? These people, you got these people on these platforms, they get on here. They hate the fact that you have good supporters over there on your side and they want them supporters. So what they do is try to turn them against you, exactly. even with lies or just telling them little stuff that they don't even know whether it's the truth or not. And then you got a weak minded fool that's sitting up here. Yeah, I see it like that too. Oh, I believe it. You know what I'm saying? Just dumb. You know that what I'm saying? Is, if you believe that, believe that then. Cause I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Do you, you know weak minded. Many, do you, do know, you, know, do you know these people, some people are followers. They're not leaders. You know what I'm saying? Do you know how they many get in where they fit in? Right, right. Do you know how many subscribers that I've had come to me and say, so and so tried to turn me against you? And my thing is this if somebody can be turned, then they don't need to be over here because I don't deal hey, with Hey, hey, what you said. I don't deal with me weak minded people. There I you go. Never told nobody not to fuck with somebody. I uh boy stop cabin said, if you fuck with Michael, don't fuck with me. I've never had to say that. It but you know what, Michael? I could stir the YouTube streets up if I was a messy person like some people seem to think I am. You know how many people why, why that you told people me stuff in confidence that think, I still haven't repeated? Wait, why would they think you met um messy? I don't think you're messy. I don't know. Just I don't know. You know, you know how they do. Just because I I believe different than they believe, you know, I, I talk a different talk than they talk. I'm I'm the messy one. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the messy one. I'm the real one. I call I call it as I see it. Nobody has to agree with me on anything that I say. I don't care if you agree with me or not. Everybody got their own opinions. And I'm I have a right to mine, as such as everybody else do. But don't knock me when you doing the same doggone thing or worse. That's what these people do on YouTube. That's why I don't really be on YouTube a whole lot no more. If I do, I'm on here watching something totally different. Not these people that be on here stirring up all this mess and drama and stuff that they got going on. Because people be talking about, hey, you know, uh, you know, they just they be acting like they ain't with stuff. You know what I'm saying? But they be with it. They be with it. I've had people tell me that they think that uh, uh, people in circles uh, uh, said some things about me. 
I didn't run back and say, oh, such and such said this. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't give a damn. You, have, you know, you, they just, people show me who they are and I back up off you. I leave you alone. You know what I'm saying? When you show me who you are, I already know I ain't going to fool with you. I don't want you, I don't want to affiliate myself with you because you ain't real. You ain't genuine. You don't keep it a buck. I I'll, keep it a I'll buck. Tell you that. I'll tell you this. You're never too old to learn the lesson, right? Out of everything that happened on YouTube, the one thing that shocked me the most mm -hmm. was with PP. And the reason I am the ever since then, I look at everybody side eye. Um, mm -hmm. Because I say that she had recordings of me even before mm -hmm. we got into it. Mm -hmm. So you've always been that way. If you had a recording, way before we got into it but the one thing about me i don't say nothing that i can't repeat mm -hmm. the one thing nobody can ever do is let me have it i know my mama tell my sisters everything so it's certain shit i don't tell her mm -hmm. um i'm that type of person as mm -hmm. you grow i've learned I, mm -hmm. I remember telling my best friend about my lover and they ended up having sex so i learned mm -hmm. shut the mm -hmm. fuck up Mm -hmm. If you don't want it back, I don't give a fuck how close we are. If I don't want to hear it back, I don't say shit out of my mouth that I don't expect to hear back. Mm -hmm. When it comes to her, there was really a real, real love. And I'll even say this. I, and I got to get this bitch. It's two things she did. One day we were on the phone. She was like, bro, if you would ever let me have it, what would you say about me? You Bitch, you think I'm stupid because you, you probably was recording to say, look, he went off. That's the first thing. The mm -hmm. second thing the second thing was this. You are so mean and so evil to the point when I, even when we got into it, and I told her this, I said, you know what? I'm never going to let you have it on YouTube. I'm not even going to talk. I'll talk to you off, but I still was talking to her. She knew I was upset. And I said to her, I said, baby, listen, I called her. I said, look, I'm trying not to drag you because I went the longest without saying anything about her. But you allowed these boys on your channel to come on the channel that I started with you. And I called her. I said, I ain't even told people we're not sisters and brothers. So, you know, the next day that bitch said, well, I just want to know we're not sisters and brothers. So you tried to beat me to the pun. Like, I made you... I was the one, because I'm going to tell you this, if anybody think about it, I used to talk about my daddy. And she said to me, well, how could we have the same daddy if my daddy did? I said, baby, I ain't going to deny my daddy. I've never met somebody so conniving and manipulative that can sit there and drag another family and your shit is so fucked up. So for anybody to tell my old why I put B Nicole's story? You know what? Because I'm going to keep telling it. Why are you telling um, PP's personal business? Why is she telling Miss Robbie's personal business? Mm. And don't even know if it's the truth. I'm just saying. Exactly. You don't know if she slept with Tina or Ike Turner. You don't know who she slept with. You wasn't there. She wasn't there. Whoever wasn't there. Even the lady that told her you wasn't there. But you don't I'm know that. I'm going to tell you this. They going to dig deep into her shit the same way. Because big money, I'll do little money any day. Well, she, she ought to have money for a lawyer if she's doing that great off of the videos. Somebody said, she said, she, if I keep doing this good on YouTube, I'm going to quit. Girl, you better keep that corporate job. Listen. But, if you're going to need some coins to go before that judge, Hollywood. I, I wouldn't even feel right knowing my shit talking about somebody else's. Wow. And see, my thing, my thing is this. I had people saying that they had a family member, and I never... See, my thing was this. Unless I can see the family member face, I don't give a fuck. It could be anybody. Mm -hmm. So I don't give a fuck. But... I'm that type of bitch that I live in my truth. Hell, if you fucked your uncle and had a baby, you had a hell. Okay, I'm being a little messy right there, but it's the truth. It's the truth. 
Close What'd the you say? I, I, what'd you say? I'm in here cutting this watermelon. Okay, you trying to get me to repeat it. Ah! I, I know I didn't hear you. But I'm just saying, how can you sit up and talk about and drag somebody else's family in and interview the mama's boyfriend, girlfriend, brother to live next door? That's messy. And my thing is, why would them people be on there talking about Miss Robbie? First of all, they must have a hatred for her. Jealous? I, I ain't seen her have nobody on there that was for Miss Robbie. Because mm. if you if you have somebody, that's not a click and view. Everybody you've had on your panel, okay. Miss Robbie ain't shit. Look, they even said Miss Robbie had people, she hired some people and they got killed and she had insurance policies on them. Yeah, well, if that was the case, she wouldn't be suing her to taking her to court. She would have had her knocked off already. Like somebody said, a killer don't file. If I'm a killer, I ain't following no day. I'm a kill your ass. <laughs> oh my goodness. But and have not stopped because you're not used to that attention. And I and I'm a quote Coco B, not word for word, but Coco B said this, and it made so much sense. She said, I cannot fathom a mother that has such a hatred towards a child, whether she gave it up for adoption or not. And mm -hmm. all that girl, she didn't say, um, <laughs> She didn't say, um, why you give me up? None of that. Mm -hmm. I just want a relationship with you. And you let the, you let the grandbaby spend a night at your house. You did videos with him. And all of a sudden, your bipolar ass split the script. Mm -hmm. Now, if she did videos talking about her, her, her path as well as that, then I would be cool with it. But you putting another family on blast. Yeah. Melissa said a lot of these adults didn't get any attention as a child. Now they do whatever to keep attention. My thing is this. I've been on stages and, and signing autographs. I'm my own attention. I motivate myself. I pat myself on the back. I don't need a bitch to tell me good job. I don't need to be seen. I, can, I lay in my bed every night and touch myself. Okay, that's too much. But still. Oh, and now you cutting up. <laughs> But a lot of them not used to an attention. That's all that is. You're not okay. used to attention. And I and I think, why did you stop your channel for a minute? Because I thought you got the big head for a minute, um, Lynn. Huh? You thought you, I got the big head? Yeah, listen. But what? Getting, you was getting them views and you said, I don't need to, uh, let me step back from my channel for a minute. You know, that was the talk on the town. Uh-huh. That I said, let me step back. Yeah, you had got a little cocky there. I did not. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was so, just doing me. You know what I'm saying? What made you stop doing um videos for a minute? Uh, um, man, I had went back to work. I got tired of all the just the. YouTube just, it's not like it was for me when I first started YouTube. You know what I'm saying? The people are just, they fake. Like I said, they fake, they phony. People listen to what other people say about you. And then, you know, like you said, you got people be like, okay, well, since I, I watch this channel, I mean, since I be over here supporting this channel, I can't go over here and support Miss Lynn because such and such will see me and it'll be a problem. You know, that type of childish, kiddie stuff. I mean... You know what I'm saying? People expect not to support other people. Right, right. People stop when 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 content creators fall out, they be like, "Oh yeah, I, you know." They try to get the supporters to, to fall out too. You know what I'm saying? Wait, Melissa well, said, "Preach, Michael. Mind is touching yourself." <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, my thing is this: like I said, some of, some people will do anything for attention. Mm -hmm. Just like I'm winning, I'm winning in real life that I'm living. Just like I'll say this, you have, but see, the one thing I don't blame is people that say this is who I am. Money boy is one of them people. Money boy tell you I could be petty as hell. Um, did you have a boy like Boy Stop Captain? You know he gonna go anywhere where there's a lot of people watching. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Heidi, I'm going to call her out. She was like the other day, sis, call me. Let me text you right now. I'll pay you for an interview. Um, my thing is this. I can give her that. But when uh, Shelby called me to say, boy, stop Kevin wanted to pay me to do an interview when me and Philly first fell out. Mm -hmm. I said, why would I could do that on my channel? Mm -hmm. That's somebody that think that their channel is not good enough. Why would I go somewhere else to talk about something that I can get views on my channel for? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. And half of these people go back and forth just for that reason. He wanted to pay you? Yeah, to, to interview me about me and Philly Phil. Mm -hmm. and, and I you said, didn't take no. it? I said, no. Now, what crackheads you know would turn down some money? <laughs> I said, no. Mm -hmm. But that was the story of the time. But people go back and forth. If I say I'm not fucking with you, I guarantee you, you will not. I'm not going to be on a panel with your ass. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to jump up there to defend myself because I don't have to. I would mm -hmm. defend myself right here on this motherfucker. I have a platform where, and I know I can talk some shit. Mm -hmm. And I think bitches got me fucked up because I ain't been talking too much shit. And I'm mm -hmm. putting it out here right now. Let one more bitch sit. No, I'm joking. They, ain't nobody really talked about me. I ain't big news no more. I ain't big news no more. But I'm, I'm still the clapback king, trust and believe. I'm sitting I up thought, here cutting this watermelon, y'all. I thought you said something. You say something about me, Lynn? No, I'm not. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Wait, this is what I love about you. Um, I don't talk to too many people. A lot of people want my number outside of here. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's not even about other. I, the other content creators really, I don't even think about too much. Mm -hmm. Unless it's... Um, one thing I do, if I didn't make somebody YouTube of the week, I always check on them. But I don't really give my number out to too many people. But I'll say this about you. Me and you, what you are on here is what you are off of here. When we talk, it's no different than we talking right now. You know what? I do got a problem with you. What? Wait, what's that? Huh? What's that, Leah? You done made all these people YouTuber of the week, and now they they ass ain't even fooling with you no more. I what? ain't never been YouTuber of the week. It's my turn. Do you know what? <laughs> ain't that the, wait? That is you know what? I thought about you right. Well, not all the YouTubers of the week ain't been. Like now look at them. Look how they showed you their gratitude. Wait, first of all, they said it wasn't shit. But I'm gonna tell you this: I did a video and got it gave them some subscribers. I'll tell you, that, I did a video not too long ago. A Daryl Fisher came on. He was like, man, I reached my 4,000. I watch. I was, thank you for all you did. And then about four or five other people. I know people try to say I'm mean and I go off. I was going off more when I was taken up for uh, old girl. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I've helped people more than I've let people have it. And that's the truth. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, this is hard. I still ain't been YouTuber of the week. Wait, the only reason I made your son YouTuber of the week because that don't got nothing to do with me. Uh -uh, I'm just I, think, Michael. I know, <laughs> listen, but I didn't know who um real talk would be was, right? Uh-huh. But Philly Phil saw him. Remember the white guy that said nigger? Yeah. And your son did a video. Yeah. She loved that. If you talk nice about it, she said, oh, you need to make him YouTube of the week. So I watched. He, he liked Philly Phil. Do it still? My, I think he might still like her. I, I'm, I don't mean like romantically. I mean, he just, he liked her. He thought she was a nice, cool person. Okay, he, look. I'm, I'm waving my hands. I'm un YouTube him of the week. Now, I'm just, uh, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> wait, she liked him because he took up for her. Mm -hmm. Um and when I watched it, so I made him YouTuber of the week. He was the first because normally, if I the criteria was you had to be under a thousand views. I was I always wanted to try to get people monetized. So that's what it was. he was the first person that I actually that was already had the numbers, but it was her that said go over there and look. Mm -hmm. She um 
some people I didn't want to make YouTube of the week. Uh -huh. And I did it because of her. The the mm -hmm. funniest one out of all of them was fine as wine. Uh -huh. She said, oh, you got to go over there. So I made make him YouTube of the week. So I made him YouTube of the week. Mm -hmm. And once I made him YouTube of the week, I thought he looked nice and cute, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many times me and her argued about that? She was in love with him. I said, really? I said, Phil, he don't want you. I saw him first. I said, first of all, he's young enough to be your son. She even told my mama. She said, wait, this is so funny. How you in love with somebody you never met? But listen, how do you want somebody that don't want you? Mm -hmm. He sent her $50 for her birthday. She sent it back because she was so mad at him. Oh, um. I don't give a fuck how mad at I am at you. I'm keeping your 50. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, let me ask you this too. Because one of my subscribers made a good point. You know, I'm having a meet and greet on the September the 15th here. A what? A meet and greet. Mm -hmm. My subscribers set it up, which I thought is so beautiful. They paid... Um, we're going to see Freddie Jackson and Howard Hewitt at the casino, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to her. And the way she was talking, she was it was like she thought my other meet and greet wasn't good. I said, you know, it was good. And I said, that's why I didn't show it. Queen Gertrude eats with whatever that heifer said. She didn't even go on the other side. Coco gave me $500 to rent this place. I had the whole place. Mm -hmm. It was nice as hell. Three of my family members rented a table for me to sell their products. Mm -hmm. I have a big family. But she said a lot of people didn't come because of what other... You had the two um, sisters come out. They're going to send their daddy there to fight. You had Silas Mukbang. So, they so a lot of people didn't come because Detroit already have a reputation. Mm -hmm. So they, she, said, she said, I didn't come because I didn't want to go from what all that was put out there. It still turned out nice, but I get, I got it. I got it from what she was saying. So they were saying, we want to meet you anyway, and that's why they're doing it. And I didn't even think of it that way because it was not, I did not show it for a reason. When, when Heidi said, your subscribers wanted, you did them wrong, girl, you didn't give me no money. The people that did what they did had no problem with it. It was some. It was so nice to me, and so my old girl told me I got my suit from the Goodwill. If I had a bitch, I still look good. But I think she got a lover from the Goodwill. Uh, and the only reason I don't really drag her lover because the lover was so. You know how you so ugly, you have to be nice. Did you? Did you? You know who I'm talking about, right? Kicking the wheel in. Hello? Okay, must have Yeah, I'm it. still here. Oh, so but for her to get up there, you don't want to draw all the way down here. And her lover was so nice. The only reason I didn't drag the lover, because I could have. You know mm -hmm. how you said, I mean, not the cutest thing, but that was her lover. Mm -hmm. They hugged and kissed. She got mad. Because me and the lover was, when I was videotaping, it was me and the lover. So uh -huh. your ass to get up there and try to drag me about my meet and greet, you're the dumb bitch because you drove down here. Oh. And I'm, I'm good enough at the hat. First of all, I'm a motherfucking star. Just the fact that you even met me and was in my presence was good enough for your ass. <sighs> but I, I could have drugged her lover. And the only reason I didn't. Wait a minute, is that the one that said you had holes in your shoes too? Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I didn't wow. watch the video, so I don't know. But you should have saw how she was dressed. How you got, you know how they used to do hair back in the kitchen back in, back in the day? With the software eight? When I tell you, 
this girl, you the last bitch that should talk about how anybody's dressed with your country bumpkin ass. Oh. And the only reason I don't let lay her love her out is because she was so nice. Mm -hmm. And if you that ugly, you have no one thing about when you ugly, two things ugly people always do. They work a lot and they nice as hell because they don't have no choice. So for this bitch to get on boy stop capping, and I really never addressed it, but I'm addressing it tonight. Queen Gertrude eat. Let me tell you something, bitch. We don't even know you anymore. You're irrelevant. And you're the dumb bitch that drove. But I should have charged you for even being in my presence. You, it already shows one thing about you. Your lover was a lot older than you. You made her pay for everything. She thinks she's got a dime piece because a pretty bitch would not treat you like that. So you got it. You know how you, you hang around somebody that look less attractive than you did so you can look better and so bitch for you to get on somebody's panel and talk about me was hilarious do you even still have a channel i don't think you do you are obsolete and your breath stunk shut <laughs> your mouth up you <laughs> shut up she had a little she had a little cat smell on her breath a little what a little cat Kitty cat smell. Shut up. Michael, you cutting up. She did, she smelled like tuna. Oh Lord. Look, star kiss ass. Bitch, I let you on out. I'm making her relevant. We have not heard or seen her ass. Her channel is, I don't even know it. Queen Gertrude eats. Bitch, I gave you a pass with your country ass. And if your woman wasn't so nice, I'd talk about her ugly ass too. I've never seen somebody so ugly. You know how you look like between a man and a beast? <laughs> hey, Michael. I'm going to go back and show her. You going to show her? Hey, look, and look, and Queen Gertrude East thought she had it going on. Bitch, no, you don't. This bitch is ugly as hell. Of course she gonna think you a goddess. Mm -hmm. This her lover look like the gum on the bottom of somebody's shoe. Okay, y'all, let me stop. Wait, isn't Queen Eats the one that was at Coney? Yeah, Melissa, yes, and she was so mad because when we videotaped, the camera had me and her lover in it. She was like, uh-uh. I want to be in it. So, Bishop, if I was all that, why was you fanning the fuck out? You was a fucking fan. You, look, you was all in my ass. Oh, shut I up. Love, I love you. What I, you drinking on? Listen, I don't trust bitches that say I love you and I love you. See, you, mate. that's all she kept saying. Mm -hmm. I felt uncomfortable. You, you was kind of like a stalker. Oh, Lord. Talking about I had holes in my shoe. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. You got a hole in your motherfucking head. <laughs> this bitch got a pressing curl. Well, you put got the damn. Curl. Yeah, well, you put the curlers on the stove, bitch. <laughs> you, <laughs> you kitchen hair, you kitchen hairdo, bitch. Mm -mm. And I can't believe that that bitch came at me. And then she talking about that one, her lover. I saw. Wait, her, did you say fat bitch? Huh? Did you say fat bitch? Uh uh. No, I didn't, huh? say, fat. I didn't say fat bitch. They weren't fat. She uh -oh. was fat, but not fat. But uh -oh. to show okay. you, she said, oh, that, you she, said that, she said that that wasn't her lover. I saw them hug and kiss. I wouldn't say that. See, people always think I'm lying. Bitch, you hugged and kissed her. So you but, saying she's ashamed of her lover? Evidently she must be because she said it wasn't her lover. And I know it was. But the late, her name was Betty. And she was really, she, Betty, I'm sorry. The only reason I'm letting you have it is because of the bitch you fuck with. Betty was really, really nice. She paid for my Coney Island. Well, Queen of Queen, I mean, Queen Gertrude's made her. But that bitch come out. 
it was only three people there. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't, give, I don't give a fuck if I was the only one there. I paid $500 for it. Shout out to Coco B. Shout out to the other girl. I can't remember her name. Shout out to Pisceans Away. Shout out to TP. Shout out to Eric. You bitches was mad because people showed me love. Bitch. They was mad because I got over $4,000 for my birthday. Okay, I, I, I really just threw that price up but still. It would have been nice. <laughs> I've never seen so many bitches that can tell you every gift that I got. I think you, look, do you put your cash app when you're doing a live or something? Me? Yeah. I, I usually don't, but I will start doing it. You don't think that that's begging? I think you begging. No, I ain't never beg. I never put my uh, cash up across the thing because I thought, you know. I, I've had people on my panel when I get cashed at. Ooh, I want to get cashed at. That is so funny. One of the best things that I love. Wait a minute, Michael. No, you didn't ask me if I, I have I ever been. I, look, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> but look. No, I don't have to beg. I got a husband that takes care of me. Do I'm just know? saying to take care of everything and my money that I make, I get to spend it on whatever I want to. Do you know the funniest thing to me? What? Is that people get so upset at what I'm doing. I was at um, Shake Shack and I was, the prices went up there, right? So mm -hmm. I was asking the cashier how much this cost. Mm -hmm. A troll in my chat was like, I hate a bitch that got to ask prices. I said, bitch, mm -hmm. I can have Oprah Winfrey money. I'm still going to ask. What the okay, price. I do that too. Come on, I'm going to ask. So, TP was like, boom, cast at me. Lunch on me. Bitch, you mad. Thank you. You get mad. They get mad. I do that too. They get I mad. I do it too, though, Michael. I'm I be like, saying, how much is this? I, I be asking uh, how much price is this because I want to know. Shoot. And look, I'm going to always do that. I'm me proven. too. I don't care how much money I got. I'm going to always do that, too. But I'm going to tell you this. Not once have I asked for anything. I can be somewhere and somebody, oh, this too much. And they'll say, no, go ahead and get it. They be I'm so jealous of my um, subscribers. I thank God for them. Even when, um, shout out to my girl, Vanessa Edgar. Wait a minute, Michael. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Now, you said, so, okay. So you said you think that putting your cash app up that's going across the TV, you think that's begging? Uh, the reason I said that is because... I mean, but do you? No. Oh, okay. This is a business. Right, right. If you if we get on here and I entertain you, I always say that. Well, what do you think here, about... What you think if I was doing a live and I said, okay, y'all, we're going to take a quick intermission so y'all can send them cash apps in... And then I'm going to come back in a minute after I get these cash apps and super chats. I'll Is that begging? That. No. That's you running. The, today, you know what I did today? What? I was downtown. And when I was downtown, the guy was selling some shea butter. And one of my subscribers cashed at me $10. Mm -hmm. And he was making a living. He said he used to sell weed. I said, you uh -huh. know what? How much is it? It was $5. So I told the subscriber... Thank you. I'm finna show some love. Then the little girls came past selling some bracelets. Mm -hmm. And I for five dollars. I said, What's your cash app? This is what I love about my 4C game. Do you know people cash up them not for no bracelet, but just mm -hmm. looked out for them? My mm -hmm. thing is this. I do not mind lifting other people up. Right. But when I get on here, if I'm cooking, if I'm making you laugh. Yes, I'm going. Yes, I would love for somebody to look out. That's the whole purpose of doing it. I right. Have, I have a problem with somebody that I do this for fun. Okay, that's you. Mm -hmm. That is you. But mm -hmm. you have people, when somebody cash at me, I say thank you. You have mm -hmm. some people that, a bitch got a video. Boy Stop Capping got a video, a cash app granny, every time somebody cash app him. I say thank you. I don't never say nothing about what you get. But you would do a video and say, 
you be eating and nobody sponsored it. They don't, first of all, it's food, nigga. They know you eat. I don't give a fuck what nobody's sending you. And you're mad because you've been in my motherfucking chat. I don't care. I couldn't tell you what another bitch get. Mm -hmm. But you've been, I was at um, the grocery store and my phone was going dead. And I said, look, I got to get off. They was like, don't get off. TP said, ah, uh -uh, don't they sell charges there? I said, no, TP, I got some. She said, no, I went and looked. And I didn't have the other pizza. Anyway, it came to about $70. I said, TP, that's too much. She said, ah, uh -uh, get it, and cashed at me. Boy, stock captain said, oh, you know you can come to the island. Now that's bagging. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, I'm good. People get so mad at me. Shout mm -hmm. out to Sweet Reader. Because somebody said, oh, all he do is buy drugs with him. And TP said, I mean, Sweet Reader said, well, if he do, at least he's giving it to the uh, street pharmacist. <laughs> they hate my subscribers. They hate. What you need to do is take a page out of my book and, and wonder why. Even PP said, um, the women love you. I don't understand. You talk about your penis. And, Bitch, why is you mad? Mm, talk about what you want to talk about. I love the fact, and I'm and shout out to Vanessa Edgar. Um, she bought me an air conditioner for my room. I loved it. It's like being outside. I sat in my kitchen about two weeks later, and I said, "Oh, it's hot." Next thing you know, another air conditioner showed up. People get so upset. I don't know what other people get because I'm too busy over here doing me. Well, can you send me one? Because I, I, my air conditioner broke. I'm going to tell you this, Lynn. What you need to do is get on your panel. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> but, and see, okay, no, I'm over why... here burning up. Shoot, now. Look, that is I'm why... your sister. But look, that's why I don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. I don't. I was in the kitchen one day and said, I was, what, the garlic? I said, oh, I need a garlic press. It was a garlic press there. Don't get mad at me and say I'm begging. I have not begged for nothing. And right. people can do whatever the fuck they want with their money. Yeah. No, I'm just playing for somebody to make a video. No, oh, no, Lynn, I mean, speaking of Lynn doing bad, she over there ain't got no air. I got central air. I'm just well, saying. I, I'm you say know this, how people Lynn, do. Do you do it? Is it a business to you? Um, when I was doing it, it was a business to me. I haven't really been putting a lot of videos out lately. And to be honest with you, I've been, it's kind of been a, relief, a, a little bit of a relief to me because I was like, you know, you know, every day trying to get videos out, trying to get videos out, trying to get the views and all that stuff. And now I just make a video when I want to. I just, I'm just enjoying that right now. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw this. Melissa said, you probably did get 4000 in money and gift. If I got 4000 I would be driving and not doing Ubers. So maybe I need to start a GoFundMe. Who wants you, to get me a who wants to get me a car? Michael, <laughs> can you drive? Yeah. You got yeah. license? Well, that's another thing. That is why I do Ubers, because I do have to pay my, my thing. Well, so, you need to be getting that cash out together so you can get them license then. You so you really can drive down here. Really, Lynn, you gonna call me out on my live like this? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm joking with you. I told you I'll do, but my Michael, kid, your ass would be in ten bucks too if you had a car. I know. I I I can always drive. I have access. Um, I am in. I was about to say I'm in a relationship. I deal with somebody that everything I do don't be on YouTube. Right. Foremost, um, I'm more independent. I'm to myself. Mm -hmm. Um. I do what works. For me. I do what works for me. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the license part and all that, I have to get it together. But that's why if I do a video, you'll see me on the bus. You'll see me um, Uber. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I still can do that. That's me. Mm -hmm. It works for me. Um, yeah. I, it doesn't, you know, bother me when it comes to that. Right. Yeah, but, but some people don't care about no car. You know what I'm saying? As long as they get to where they're trying to go. I mean, I care about one. And um, I want one. But I don't live outside of my means. I do what I need to do. Mm-hmm.
Um, but you, you, you be getting around. Yeah, trust me. You, one thing about me, that's why I'm in such good shape. Because I'm very active. You have some fat people from Chicago. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Michael, how far are you from Chicago? Probably about four hours. Driving. Are you really? Yeah, very close. I thought you was closer than that. Mm -hmm. It's about four hours. Uh. You know that they call that our sister city. Mm -hmm. We go to you, know, you go there. The, the liquor's a lot cheaper. But you probably two hours from me. I'm gonna have to Google it. Well, you know, I, I think we, I am closer to you than we are in Chicago. Michael. Huh? Can you? Oh, hear okay. I thought I had clicked myself off of here. Yeah, I think I Googled it already. I'll talk to you. I'm going to call you tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to talk. Because I think we are closer to you. I am closer to you than um, Chicago. Chicago, okay. Right. I'm look, not that far from Chicago wait, or Detroit. I was about to Google it till I realized I'm live. I ain't want everybody to know where you live. <laughs> uh, I live in Fort Wayne. Okay, let me Google it right quick. I ain't worried about nobody knowing I live here. If they want to come here, they can come on and get this bullet. Uh, it's Detroit from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Huh? No, I'm Googling it to see. Hold on. Because, um, hold on. Uh, two hours and 40 minutes. Oh, okay. That ain't nothing. That ain't far. I'm going to have to come down there. Yeah, that's a hop, skip, and a jump. But look, so you listen, you messing it up. Remember we said what we was gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna still do it. Listen, Michael, you will get a car, I promise. Love you, Cali girl. Listen to Vanessa. Okay, ain't that speak it into existence, oh, Vanessa? Hey, that is my ride or die right there. Do you hear me? That is my ride or die. Now that is one of the people I do talk to outside of this. There's very few people I do talk to that is my girl there she don't play um i love her it's about a thousand vanessas in my damn chat no michael can you hear me yeah can you hear me yeah 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 okay so let me ask you this out of all the conversations that you and i had and things that you said to me in confidence have you ever heard it on youtube never Cause I don't roll, and if I get mad at you, I ain't even gonna put it out there. Cause I don't do that. I'm just saying, unless you really, you know. <laughs> but I'm, look, I will, I will say this: when you went to, in, when you first was gonna interview me, right? Mm -hmm. And we talked. Mm -hmm. It was only one question. I said I didn't want to answer. Remember that? Um. Yeah. Do you remember what question it was? I uh uh, cause I asked you two. I think I asked you two questions. What two questions you asked me? I asked you, was Philly Phil really your sister? Yeah. And what was the other question? I can't remember what the other one was. Well, that's the question I said I didn't want to answer, remember? But you did answer it. Did I? You did. You lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, wait. And look, well, she was it's, your sister at that time. Yeah, it, listen, I will say this. We had a close relationship to where yeah, it was like I felt like she was my sister. Yeah, we were so close that yeah, my mama and her mama lied. Yeah, to the point it was so funny. Her boyfriend, she was in the car with the guy she go with mother, and she was on live, and we were talking, and his mama said, "Who was that?" She said, "My brother," and the mom was like, "That ain't your damn brother." I had to laugh so hard. Because for me, it did not make a difference. Because when people ask that question, I think a lot of people ask it because I took up for it so hard. Yeah, but you my did. thing with this, I used to always say, if we're not, if we weren't sisters and brother, what difference would that make? I don't know why that question was so important to everybody. Are you still taking up for people? Never again. I'm gonna take up for me. Oh shoot! Never again. Just like. <laughs> You ain't gonna stick your neck out there and help nobody else. You know what? If it ain't for me, I'm not doing it. What if somebody paid you to do it? Okay, I'll probably do it then. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, 
I'm not just. Well, if the price is right, you would. I need you to roast such and such. Like and they paid you a nice price for it. You probably do it. Most of the you? people, look, most of the people I got into it with, it wasn't because most people don't come at me. That it. That's never happened. It was taken up. Most of the people that I've had a beef with has mm -hmm. been because I took up with somebody. Mm -hmm. I would have never got into it with Loka if it had not been. I didn't like the way she was doing Philly Phil. Mm -hmm. So when me and her got into it, Philly Phil, mm -hmm. and she did at a men's show, and you try to make amends with everybody you asked me to cuss out. That uh -huh. Yeah. With your ass like that. That is why I have some issues with her. But so she never did nothing to you? No. I mean, after the fact. Because mm -hmm. when I went the hell off, now she was one of the dirtiest people ever. You made a fake family. You did all of that. You called me AIDS boy. But it didn't bother me because only the truth hurt. Because the one thing about me, I can, if I drag your ass, I drop the mic. Because ain't nobody ever let her have it like I did. A lot of people are scared. Ain't nobody on YouTube that I'm motherfucking scared of. People scared of who? Local. Why? She got a good mouth on her. I'll give her that. She gets some bitches together. Mm -hmm. But that's because they allow it. And do, yeah. Just like with B. Nicole. She's upset with her because B. Nicole deal with Truth Hurts. Who upset with B. B. Nicole? Loka. What? And mad. Why? But you can't tell nobody who to deal with. I don't care if you a moderator over here or you if you fuck with me. I'm not gonna be mad at you because you over at local. I don't have control over nobody like that. Mm -hmm. And my thing is that I still don't even have no issue with local, but I'm mm -hmm. not the bitch that I don't listen to shit. But I'm not one. I will never be on a panel. Never go over there. We never talk about anything. And if I feel mm -hmm. like I want to let somebody have it, that's me. Mm -hmm. Because out of anybody, she would tell you that I go toe-to-toe -to -toe for mine. Mm -hmm. All that rah-rah and hard voice shit, that don't bother me. My mom got the deepest, manliest voice ever. Like I said, that when I, I was going up on um, Loka when my mom was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And when I did, at the end, my mom was like, bitch. <laughs> uh uh. And and Loka did a video letting my mama have it. She did? Yeah. And so look, everybody was like, that's wrong. I said, no, it ain't. I said, because my mama said something. I get so upset with people that say, don't do something if you don't think it's a repercussion. Now, I think if Loka had to went harder on me, because I if Loka mama had to did that, I would have just cussed Loka out more. I wouldn't have went off on the mama. Mm -hmm. But my mama said that. So if that's what she chose to do, I wasn't mad. If I call you a bitch or you, if your son call me a bitch and I go off on his ass, why are you mad? Don't say anything. That's what I hate about people in these YouTube streets. They do something and they say something hard. And when you go harder, okay, uh -uh, see, that ain't right. Well, don't say shit. Shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. My mama said, bitch, she put herself out there to be talked about. And I don't know you, so it don't hurt. Mm -hmm. That's the problem on YouTube. All these bitches on here and take shit personally. I don't know you motherfuckers. Yeah, that's true. People do take stuff personally. I remember. On YouTube. I, I remember. I've always been going back and forth, tit for tat. I was in elementary, and me and a guy got into it. And I, my grandmother, I went in her bathroom. She had these pantyhose that was called Big Mama pantyhose, right? And I, I thought it was so funny. So me and the guy get into it in school. I was like, that's why your grandmama wear Big Mama pantyhose. Everybody laughed. He was crying. I'm like, nigga, why do people let words hurt them like that? I don't know your grandmama. Or when somebody say, if you do a mama joke, my mama dead. I said, she probably died having your ugly ass. I don't know your mama. 
my mama could die today and somebody talk about her tomorrow. Do you know if they don't know her, it wouldn't bother me? I ain't gonna let nobody talk about my mama. But I'm not gonna let that. If I don't know you, you don't know my mama, it don't bother me. Because I'm like this. If I call you a bitch today and you die tomorrow, don't that make you a dead bitch? No, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> It's my lot, mama. It's a lot of men in prison. It's off limits. It's a lot of men. But wait, so, but you can't comment nobody. Huh? I said, my thing is that. If people say mama's off limit, then don't, if, just like if somebody said you AIDS having bitch and I said your mama got AIDS, don't go there. You no, Don't we, bring it up. We can't tell, we can't tell what somebody limit is. Some people, well, you know, people play the dozens, you know what I'm saying? But you know, a lot of these people, like, okay, so let me ask you this do you believe in doxing? No, because people be on here putting people's addresses, and I believe in it if you dox me, yeah, yeah, if, if you do you it to me, I'll do it unto you, right? Just like, this right, is, this is what I really loved about you. you dig up something about me, I'm gonna dig up something about you. But this you know what I'm saying? That's my motto. I'm gonna do unto others as they do unto me. Now, if you dig up some information, I really don't care what nobody dig up about me. I'm just saying. But I'm going to dig up some stuff about you, and I'm gonna pay good money to get some good information so that I can give it to the people. I'm just saying. I'm gonna do it better. I'll say this. This is what I love about you. Remember. But who wants to go through all that? Go ahead. This is what I love about you. And you said it, and it was so funny and so on point. Remember when somebody kept saying, I'm going to send an Uber up to your house, uh, and they rolled past, and you said, um, you need to stop doing that because most people don't play. You don't tell people what you're going to do. Just don't show know. up. Just show up. My Just show theory, up. Don't tell. I can't stand when somebody be like, hold up, I'll be right back. Bitch, I ain't going to let you leave. <laughs> that's just about that's just like the people that be doxing putting somebody else's address out here. Now I would put I wouldn't put their address out here. I probably actually I would probably move in silence. You know what I'm saying? That's what people don't understand. If you gonna do something, move in silence. Don't tell, don't get on YouTube talking about what you gonna do. You gonna send this person, you, you know what I'm saying? To just do look. it. Just do <laughs> it. Somebody did a video. Remember when Family Mackey did a video saying, I know where you live. And I did the video with the cowboy boots. And I said this, show up if you want to. My thing is this, you can go on my YouTube page, my phone number's on there. I'm one of these type of motherfuckers. I keep telling people, don't let that picture fool you. Mm -hmm. I grew up with all sisters. I'm a fighter like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. We gonna fight and fuck. I do not play that. When Boy Stop Cabin said he would slap me, nigga, you four hours. Ooh, I got some mean brothers. Come on. I, I mean mean too. I got all sisters. I've been fighting all my life. I got some mean brothers, and I sure know how to fight because I my brothers made sure I knew how to fight. My mama, one of the baddest bitches I know to this day. She's still bad like that. That's where I come from. So my thing is this. I don't do all the talking. That's the worst thing you could. Don't tell me what you're gonna do to me. Do it. I I'm old. I'm not even gonna waste that breath arguing. Cause mm -hmm. then I'll be out of breath. What I'm gonna do is just snatch your ass. But I wish yeah. a bitch would slap me. Listen, let that picture man. let that picture fool your ass if you want to. Go listen here. I come from a big family, and they got a name in my hometown. I told my older sister she went with a nigga six foot five, almost three hundred pounds. I went to her house. She looked and said, "I said, what happened?" She said, mm -mm. "I said, what happened?" She said, "I'm glad you weren't here. We got into it." I said, "Bitch, I'm glad I wasn't here. One no use in both of us getting our ass whooped." Oh, shut up! Mike. I told you to go <laughs> somebody my size. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. Fuck, I can't with you. You fuck with this big nigga. But my thing is this. That's all I ever... I remember a nigga slapped my sister because she wouldn't give him a cigarette. And my sister is five years older than me. And I always felt like I had to take up. I went home, put a lock in the sock. I went back down the street. 
I was like, who slapped that girl for that? He was like, I slapped that bitch. I whop, whop, his ass. Hey, Vanessa. And, and took off running. But um, I think a lot of people think because of that picture. It's a whole, I didn't have to explain the story, but I'll tell you this. If anybody think that they can do it, feel free. Because I will nut the fuck up, go to prison, meet a man named Bubba, and live happily ever after. You cutting up. I ain't going to nobody's prison. I got somebody to do my dirty work. I and that's some period. I I'm would serious. Eat, I would I, eat, I, you know what? I wouldn't survive in prison. I'm just playing. I would eat the Kit Kat on the bed and ask them to do that. Shut have, up. Do you got another one, nigga? Uh-uh. I'd be Don't the drop bad, the soap. I would be the baddest bitch in prison. No, I'm just... <laughs> Michael. What? They're gonna be in there taking your comb, Bree. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, you know what? Being I'm being serious. Let me be serious for a minute. I'm not a violent listen, I don't promote violence, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think that people should have to go that far, but I have seen it on YouTube. You know, people, you know, threatening people's lives and all that stuff. And I just think that's just what it is. They leave it there. I mean, because if you if it's that serious to where you feel like you want to do harm to somebody, you better know who you're dealing with, first you know of all. What? You know what I'm saying? Lynn, just stop it. I can tell you crazy. I can tell it. Because sometimes when you do your videos, it comes out a little bit. That's why. I, you, look, I, I am crazy. Anybody. People, Wait. and you listen, if you know what, if me and you ever hang out, I'm gonna listen. If you ever was in my hometown, people say she's crazy. I am crazy, you but that's what hell, I say. You scared the hell out of people. Uh, I, well, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I don't bother nobody, and I don't want no smoke from nobody, I don't want no problems with nobody, but ain't nobody gonna bring me no problem, and I'm not gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna handle my business. I'm gonna tell you this. By me growing up with all sisters, right? And I don't Even, like to do a lot of talking. You know what I'm saying? That, that arguing back and forth, I don't do all that. I'm a, I'll be ready to lay hands on somebody. And my, if I can't lay my hands on you, what's the point of me talking? The older, huh? Especially the older you get. I went to the gas station one night, and it was two guys standing out there. What you need, um? I said, first of all, don't call me, um, Because I got a <laughs> lot of nieces and nephews, and I don't like half them motherfuckers. Oh, Lord. I go in there. I said, well, you know what? Let me get a, um, I got something. And I said, well, let me get something with a glass, just in case. So when I go back out, one of the boys said, yeah, that nigga better run. I turned around. I said, my nigga, I said, I got asthma. I smoke cigarettes. If I take off running, you're going to catch me anyway. I said, so what I'm going to do is give you the worst three minutes of your life right now. And then I'm going to take off running. Because I'm not scared of no ass whooping. Do you want me like tell I'm you? No you want me tell you somebody else who ain't no joke? Oh. Well, ain't none of my kids no joke, but that real talk with B ain't nobody to play with. He, yeah, I'm telling y'all, he be nice on YouTube, but uh, a real talk with B will mess you up. But I'll tell you this: I would rather fight somebody bigger than me than my size. And and the reason I, I have more problem with people my size. And yeah. my daughter will too. She'll lay hands on somebody about her mama, honey. I'm just saying, Wait. all of them will. Just Michael too, y'all. Don't let the, the don't let him be a gay fool. You, they the martial art boys. When I tell you this, my sister, my older sister, is one of the baddest bitch I know. My baby sister, I did a comedy show, right? Mm -hmm. And the one comedian, me and him, real. We cool. up here talking about violence. We Look, should be saying. But listen to this. my baby sister. That's like the brother I never had. Because when I say that this is one of the baddest bitches. I know the comedian, I did a comedy show. The comedian was trying to holler at her. His girlfriend was like, if this bitch don't get out of my his face, she said, baby, I don't. She said, don't call me another bitch. My sister had on some stilettos. When I said that she whooped her ass and the stiletto heels never moved, that mm -mm. was like the baddest bitch I know. I'm going to try to get my brother. Next time he come down here and visit me, I'm going to try to get him on live. He, 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 he lived in Compton. And he got some stories, boy. I be telling him, I be like, get on there and tell some of these stories because I'm listening. L -l -l listen, my, Michael. His name is Michael, too. But look, let me ask you this. At this point in my life, I don't really, I try to derail some stuff. 
I'm not. Yeah, it's to, not necessary you know, to be on here trying to fight. We too old to be trying to fight somebody. Exactly. And then they don't fight like they used to. And then ain't nobody fighting no more. People our age put a, a shooting, pulling that trigger. I don't have any felonies or anything, right? So mm -hmm. I was telling my mama, I said, my mama got guns like hell, but they all illegal. Okay, I hope that nobody goes on for it. But anyway, I told her, I said, I'm going to get a gun. She said, bitch, I was like, you know what? You're right. Because a nigga beat and said hi, and I beat and shot his ass because I thought he said die. Listen, that's my what I told all my kids. Make sure y'all go get y'all a weapon and carry it around with you. I was, this is the time I, we live uh, in. I was riding in the car with my mama one day, right? Mm -hmm. And the police, we about three houses from her house, and the police pulled her over. She mm -hmm. was like, oh, I got this gun on me, this weed. So I'm looking at her like, um, well, give me the keys. She was like, why? I was like, because I ain't going to jail for your ass. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they don't fight like they used to. And well, they don't fight they, nobody. I can walk away. The only time I'm going to fight you if I feel like my person is in jeopardy. I will nut the fuck up. But I can walk and you can call me every name in the book as long as you don't put your hands on me. And I'm and I'm gonna act like I'm a police officer. I, I he had a gun or she had a gun. I was in fear for my life. And I'm gonna take you out of here. If I pull it out, you can trust and believe I'm gonna use it. And I ain't shooting to, to wound you. I'm shooting to take your ass out of here. And I that's think, where you I need to be messing of, with me. I'm I just think, saying. I ain't talking about you. I'm just talking right, about anybody, no, period. But I'll say Because I'm too old to be trying to fight anybody. I don't have no, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no problems with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I live a peaceful life. I'm just saying, since we just talking about it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody got the right to defend themselves. You know what I'm saying? As they should. But, but you know, people but walking I, around I, here trying I, to bully I, folks I think on these people. YouTube streets and stuff, and that just don't fly with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And some people got time that ain't got nothing to do to really find your ass. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't me, hard look, to do if me, the person really wanted to. Do you think and shut you down? Young, when they come to young people, I think they have older people fucked up because they have to realize we didn't make it to this age for no reason. But Michael, you know these youngers will take you up out of here too now. Because they don't respect you. Look, they I, they don't have no respect whatsoever. I got some grandsons and they off the chain. I'm just saying these right. young kids don't care. Trust me. They I don't was, care. I was at the I was at the mall, right? And the lady is sitting at the bus stop about 70 something years old. And it was two young boys on each side. They rolled in the blunt. They lit it and was passing it. And she's coughing. And I was like, you know what? I didn't want to say nothing because they don't respect you like they used to, right? Yeah, my no leg, respect at all. I said, fuck this. My leg is shaking like hell. Cause I ain't know. I said, man, what if that was your grandmama? That nigga looked at me like, fuck you, and thought about it. And finally, because you can't say not. In my day, I let you say some shit and let it go in one ear and out the other. Because I had respect like that. Nowadays, they'll fuck you up. Yeah. I ain't going to bust the grape, y'all. I'm just talking. Lynn, I didn't talk to you enough. You didn't tell me a many a time. Michael, leave me alone. When I told you <laughs> to call you a bitch, you said I'll ring that whole neck. That bitch better leave me the fuck alone. I was like, Lynn. No. <laughs> but you know what? Michael, back in the day, that was a trigger for me. That that Nicola. word, if you call me a bitch, I'll tear your head off. Did but now, have, that don't bother me. It don't bother me now, today, that I'm older. I don't even care. It's well, look, bitch to whoever say it. I saw you on that motorcycle. You look like you'll whoop somebody's ass. Tear your ass up. And especially you know, my ex-husband was a he was a real built dude. And, and I used to fight him sometimes. Do you know what he told me? He said, Lynn, he said I had him in the headlock and he couldn't get out of it. And he was a big dude, stocky dude. He said, You'll give a bitch a run for her money. Are you better damn believe it? I look, told you I got brothers. My mama boyfriend was fighting her one day, right, in the room. So me and my sister were like, fuck that. We kicked the door and leave mama alone. He said, get this crazy bitch up off me. She was yeah. with that ass out. I like the fight. I used to. I love the fight. I love, I ain't lost one yet. And I ain't bragging, y'all. I'm not. I just ain't lost one. That's just like, look. I used to beat up look, dudes. That's just like my mama. A woman. Wasn't no problem for it. She had she was hanging with these two sisters, 
And they was like, girl, if you didn't carry them guns, we'd kick your ass. Uh, she, hmm. took, she, she took two pistols out of her bra. She said, baby, these guns for niggas. She said, I'll whoop a bitch ass. Okay, that you better got to bring ass to get ass. I told my mama, you know her name, Michael. And, and she so hard. I said, mama, you know, if I didn't know you, I would think you was a lesbian. She said, a bitch can't get nothing from me but an ass whooping. <laughs> But you can, it looked like you used to um, cut up back in your day. Hello? Oh, I be now. putting it on mute because I was eating that watermelon. Yeah, people in my hometown, they say that she laying crazy. What Don't do mess with her. Huh? How, many, how many brothers you got? I got four brothers. Where you fall at? I'm the baby. Oh, I know your ass, boy. Yep. I got, well, rotten. I got one brother don't give a damn about nothing. He He's a fighter, too. He beat three niggas up at one time. You know what I'm saying? That's just how you you ain't never seen a video with my grandma on here. My grandma wasn't no joke. Still ain't no joke today. You ain't, If you ain't see that video with her on there talking, listen. Here, she, she, was cussing, she was cussing about something. She don't play. She never did. And then she told us if we ever came home and got our ass whooped, she was going to whoop our ass again. Look, that's so, like, so, so go figure. That's what God knew exactly what mother to give me. And you know why I say that? Because I couldn't be a feminine gay guy. I had to be her. Mm. And because of the way she is, when I say, and a lot of people thought she was older, I'm her fifth child, but she had me at 19. Okay. And when I say, I used to hate when she do this. I can get into it. One time, it was about five boys that wanted to fight me. She was like, he'll fight every last one of y'all one by one. I'm like, I don't want to fight none of these motherfuckers. <laughs> but that is the baddest woman I know. I will. I'll fight anybody. Still to anybody. This day, or still to this day, I will call her. You know, my mama, you know, she, my mother been shot three times. That's what you said. And and the reason I say that, when I say that that woman, I love her so much, and I knew God knew exactly who to give me as a mother, because of the fact I've never want I've never been a the first thing you're gonna see if I'm walking down the street is a man first, mm -hmm. because that's how she always said carry myself, mm -hmm. and I could not take up for my sisters. If any nigga she's ever went to, I've shut it down. Mm -hmm. that's just like when I got into it with my nephew that day her boyfriend that I whooped his ass so many times was the one that pulled me backwards that is on it I fight like a motherfucker that's why I keep telling people let that picture fool you if you want to this ain't what you want when they boys used to call, when they used boys to call me evil Captain, when boy stopped Captain said he would slap me I say my nigga he said he was gonna slap you. Yeah, I said my nigga. I why he want? Why he wanted to slap you? I don't know what that bitch was feeling that day, but I invited. Joe, you better you better leave them Chicagoans alone. Nigga, that's a bitch. <laughs> uh, come on now. Uh -huh. I'm now you know what? I'm a lot Detroit. of Chicago, a lot of them Chicago dudes used to come down to my home because I'm from a small town. And so they used to come down there and sell drugs and stuff. And they used to come down there and try to take over. And a lot of them ain't here today just because this is a small town. Don't let this small town fool you. They there today, huh? Lynn, there's bitches in every city. Okay. I'm I'm from Detroit. And what I'm not going to allow... What I'm not going to allow is a nigga that sit on panel to panel that ain't a real nigga slap me. Mm -hmm. Trust it. My husband, my husband hate to go places with me sometimes because I have no filter. I have no filter. I don't have no problem telling nobody exactly how I feel. And I will show out if I have to. I don't like to, but I will. You take but me you, there. You know what I've been thinking about lately, though? Some of the shit that happened, and it can go left so quickly. Huh. So I don't even go off anymore. Yeah, it ain't worth what, it nowadays. I, if I can walk away, I'm going to walk away. But yeah. if I have to get down and dirty, I'm going to do that. But my first thing is going to be try to walk away. 
but don't get it twisted. Don't yeah. tell me you gonna. That's say. the best thing to do, you know. If you can walk away, walk away. But if they put their hands on you, got to handle your business. That's just like when. Um, you ain't even really got to put your hands on me. You just got to be in my cup, in my space. You know what I'm saying? If you get too close to me, it's a wrap. But my thing is this: the ones that talk about it ain't about it. Cause mm -hmm. you ain't got to talk about it. Just like when L. Hendricks, I'll send you an Uber, not blah blah blah. And when I went to his city, and I went around, you remember that video? Do y'all know L. Mm -hmm. Hendricks? I remember that video. I was live. I was live for a couple of hours. When I got back home, oh, I wish I had known he was nigga. You could have pulled up wherever I was. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking, nigga. Yeah, a lot of people talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. I can back up everything I say. Trust and believe me, and I will. Cause I just can't. I just can't be punked like that. I don't care. I wouldn't care if I got my tail whooped. I'm gonna give you a run for your money, honey. You gonna remember fighting Lynn, okay? You gonna remember that day. Exactly. That's the and one. You're going to remember, Lynn, and you're going to think twice about coming again. And if I can't Wait. get you the first time, you can best believe it. The next time I see you, you better Hello. be ducking. Listen, because I'm, I'm a revengeful person. I that. am. I ain't scared of no ass whooping. And if you do whoop my ass every time you see me, you better rock, be ready because I'm going to fight your ass every time. Are you revengeful, you. Michael? You know what? I'm one of the most. I'm petty like that. That's when I pray. I say, Lord, take that pettiness out of me. You ain't finna kick my ass and we gonna be friends. I no, that's I've never been in an abusive relationship. No, nah, we ain't gonna do that. Mm -mm. I have been in an uh -huh. abusive relationship, but we're not gonna be friends. You ain't finna kick my ass. Because I ain't gonna trust cool. you and you shouldn't trust me. You hit me, I'm hitting, I'm getting your ass back one way or another. Everybody in my family is a father, though. My now I lied. My sister whooped me, though. My sister whooped me. She did. She got me one day. All she the only one. All of my she the only one. That girl stronger as ox. She threw me over something, and I was like, "What the hell just happened?" <laughs> Look, all of my I thought I had it. I thought she was gonna be an easy takedown. Cause she don't bother nobody. She don't bother nobody, but she. she Listen, but then, the, you know, a lot of people the, are a lot of people thing, that don't bother nobody, Michael, and you them quiet ones and them timid ones that you, you know what I'm saying? Even a scary person to hurt you. I feel like this. If you don't start it, you will win it. I never start a fight. Yeah. Um, If you don't start it, you're going to win it. I thank God for all, all of my sisters, bad as hell, throw the fuck down. That's just them. My older sister is like the brother I never had. Jack, yeah. Listen. When I say, still to this day, I'm a little scared of that heifer. They just don't, but that comes from my mama. My mama just was not that type of person. When I, they are, one sister is real quiet, but it mm -hmm. takes a lot to get her to fight. The other one's finna jump real quick, but the one that's quiet will kick ass as well. Mm -hmm. My baby sister's like the, the one, that's the gung-ho one. Me mm -hmm. and her are out of light. My older sister, Gonna say, leave me the fuck alone, but we'll tear that ass up. And I love her for that. I love my sister like that. And mm -hmm. I had to take up for him, so I couldn't be feminine and take up. I had to say, no, nigga, leave my sister the fuck alone. I'll whoop that ass. That's why I was taking up for PP so much. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Have you and your sisters ever jumped anybody? Um, we ha I have so many sisters, I didn't have to get in it with them when it came. Now, I've helped my sisters whoop niggas' ass. Mm -hmm. um, me and my sister went in the store one day, and the one guy was like, hey, baby. It was two guys. He was like, hey, baby, how you doing? The other guy was like, man, that could be his woman. He was like, I don't give a fuck about that nigga. I was like, nigga, fuck you. This is my sister. Matter of fact, she ain't even finna talk to your punk ass. So me and my sister, I'm arguing, me and my sister get in the car. Uh, he talking to, she was like, go grab him. I was like, girl, she said, I'll help you. <laughs> when I, I was like, girl, when I say we got out that car and told that ass up. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, I love, look, my sisters ain't no joke. I love that. Mm -hmm. But we're older now. We don't, yeah. you have to really push me. Even the shit that I, I'm learning now. The argument is not because I'm so quick to go off. Mm -hmm. 
but that will escalate something to a point where it don't need to be. Yeah, ain't no point in arguing with nobody. Like you said, walk away. Right. Let them talk to themselves until they put their hands on you. Now, if you grab me, it's on. Oh, you ain't going to grab me now. Do you get closer, you get in that comfort, that space, boy. Mm -mm, I can't let you grab me now. Okay, Lynn, you, you make me want to whoop somebody's ass. No. <laughs> <laughs> And listen, you know what? I got really mad uh, Sunday. I had an episode Sunday. It was the first time in a long time. About and, what? Oh, it's it's a it's a long story. Somebody had took me there. And I mean, I went all the way off. And my husband went to try to grab me. And I said, don't touch me. Oh, I mean, I was, he just backed up because he was like, L -l 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 leave this fool alone. Well, look, my thing is this. The other day, this is so funny. I'm at the store, right? Mm -hmm. I, um, on my way in the store, this guy came up to me. He was like, you know what? He said, I ain't no comedian, but I'm comical. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, you said that to say what, nigga? I said, today and today, I don't want to hear that shit. I nut up. Mm -hmm. So I get in the store and I, um, set up my iPad to do a live. And I looked at my shirt because when he said that, and he pointed to his shirt. And I didn't know what he was talking about. But when I get in there to set up the live, my shirt said comedian Michael Allen. So oh, look, that was, he was. And you were showing out. I was ready to whoop his ass. And I was like, you know what? I got to For no my... reason. But look, I was like, you said that to say what, nigga? <laughs> mm -mm. But it's, Is anybody in the chat still? We got 24 people still in here. Okay. We, I don't see no comments rolling down. Y'all well, in the chat, y'all got some times where y'all had to get feisty and, and be about that life. Listen, so, look, uh, you back on your channel, right? Uh-huh. So, uh, you doing videos. When the last video you did? I just put one up. Uh, it'll be out tomorrow. What is it about? Uh, I it's about a lot of things. I went to a concert and I had some uh, uh, I recorded some of the concert and then I'm just <laughs> out. What you know, what I'm thinking about it. I'm mad at you too, Lynn. You know why? Why? Because when I was playing, saying I wasn't gonna do any more YouTube, you called me, nigga, you bet not, right? Mm -hmm. When you stopped doing it, I was so mad at you. I was but like, I, I just, I just got busy, you know, working and um, just, and then having surgery, and then you know, just I, I was just busy. I was just trying to get myself together, you know, for my journey, you know, for these trips that I'm about to be taking. You know, I was just trying to get my coins together, and then I had a, I got a new great, great grandbaby, and I keep him, you know, so he can know who I am. You know, he don't live here, but. I have to go. Hey, I got him. another question for you. Mm -hmm. When me and you did that interview, what made you take that video down? Oh, let's see. What made me take the video down was the, the flack, you know, the people was that, that I was getting about the video. I just never thought that people would be so opinionated and, and, and in, in their feelings about what you and I were talking about in the interview. It's an interview. Do you were know you what scared? I'm saying? Were you scared? I wasn't scared. <laughs> now don't don't do that. I ain't never scared. What I say to you then? If you don't put that damn video back up, then I put it back up. But you know, I just, I just, you know, I'm just, I, think that, I don't have time. You know, time. I think it was. You know, I think it was. What? It took you fast because you didn't expect that it would do all of that. It, that really shocked me that that many people were interested in that. Mm-hmm. We should do another one. They, we should, and they said that you were one-sided in that interview. I wasn't. I thought it was a lovely interview. I did too. You got tipsy as hell. <laughs> Man, I was feeling good. And that's another thing. I was feeling so good. I don't know if I was coming or going. And people made was making up stuff, you know, saying that I was doing things on purpose on there, you know. Like that comment they said that I had left up on the screen. They said I did that on purpose about comedian L, uh, Hendrix, and I didn't. I honestly didn't. If I had did that on purpose, I would have admitted it and said, yeah, I left it up there on purpose because I, there's no shame in my game. I'm not scared of nobody. If I did it and I was trying to be funny, I would have said, yeah, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Because I own my stuff. Anything I, was, I ever I, do, I own it. 
And I'm I not never scared that. to say I didn't. You know, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even, I wasn't even paying that no attention. Even if I looked at it or somebody thought I was looking at it, I wasn't paying that no attention than a man in the moon. You know what I'm saying? But he right. fell out with me about I'm that. Gonna say, I'm going to say this. Content creators need to go back and look at that video. And the reason I say that, if you're interviewing somebody, when you stop and say, hold up, we're not going to disrespect my guests. If you have nothing nice to say, there's a way that you can run your shit. And I appreciated that because you said, hold up, I'm interviewing and we're not going to do that. That is how I am. We're going to yeah. show some respect. You can feel what you feel. What do you think about this? Have you ever had moderators? Because I never, you, you know how you can go on your phone and check your block list, but mm -hmm. it's different than if you go into the YouTube studio, studio mm -hmm. besides on your phone. Mm hmm I had 153 people that was blocked. Who did and it? It was moderators because mm -hmm. they were in their own feelings. So if they didn't, and I didn't know the people were blocked. Yeah, I had that happen. And I keep saying that. But you know, people were blocking people. I didn't even know that. I had no idea until my son, Real Talk with B, told me. He said people was getting blocked and he was unblocking them. And he was like, yeah, because I was like, why are you unblocked? Why are you blocking the people? People got, they, they, everybody has an opinion. You know what let I'm me, saying? Look, let me ask you this. What when you unmoderate somebody, what makes you unmoderate somebody? Um, what makes me unmoderate a person is if, if you ain't never there when I'm doing a live, why do I need you? If you everywhere else and you can't be in my lives and you a moderator on my channel, I don't why I mean, why are you here? I'm not gonna uh unmoderate a person just because I'm being petty or because you said something that I disagree with or you know what I'm saying, or 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 if you you know you just outright being rude to other people, you know what I'm saying? Like we can't have that because I'm try I try to be peaceful, you know what I'm saying? I don't try to have no smoke with nobody going on on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But everybody, you know, one person say one thing, another person will take it a different type of way. And it, and it might not be meant like that. You know what I'm saying? People just get in their feelings and they create an argument where there really should be none. You know what I'm Duh. saying? Can I ask you another question? Why did you take all my moderators? Now, I'm not I didn't take <laughs> your moderators. But I'm going to tell you this. You know what makes me unmod somebody? What? Reason. First, if you ain't no over there, then you're right. But another reason is this. If you somewhere else and somebody's talking about me and you agreeing with it or you. Right, right. Yeah. I don't yep. need you to be a moderator. Right. That's true. Now you can be over there because I can't tell you where to go. But mm -hmm. don't egg that shit on. Yes. If you are a moderator on my channel and somebody talks about somebody else in, in my live. And you come up and you defend that person, but then you go over to another person's channel and they over there talking about me and you don't give me that same respect. I, what do I need you for? That don't even make no sense, do it? Do you look? Do you notice that you know some content creators? If you mind for them, they don't want you to mind nowhere else. Well, you know that's the. People just crazy, you know. It, it don't matter to me because I don't do lives. I don't really do that many lives. I prefer to upload my video. You know what I'm saying? Every time, every now and again, I might do a live or whatever, but I ain't into them. But Not I, really. I started doing this. I don't have a big turnover of moderators, but what I'm not going to do, if I don't know who you are anymore, if I don't see a picture, I'm not making your mind. Listen, did you watch um did you watch the uh interview with Adrian and Benji? Uh-uh. What was it about? Oh well, uh, you gotta watch the interview. Who was Benji? I see Benji that. Benji asked I don't watch his channel, but I watched him do that interview. I've I seen his uh I seen a couple of his videos, but I just don't um he ain't really my cup of tea, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really watch him. But the, I did watch him do that one, interview. That interview one, was a whole mess. The last because one I, I felt like, her, huh? The last one I seen of her video was her and the white guy on the boat. Oh, yeah, you got to watch that interview. That interview was a whole mess. Now, the one thing about Adrian, I'll say this. I love her. You know why? I like Adrian, uh, too. She live in her truth, too. She do. They've been coming for her for years. Mm -hmm. And she has endured that. That is one of the people that I apologize to as far as 
very few people I apologize for going off on. Mm -hmm. And one was um, Nisha. Genuinely um, Nisha? Yeah. And the reason I went off on her because Loka said she doxed her. That's when me and Loka was cool. Mm -hmm. I went off on Nisha and I apologize to her and Adrian. Did she doxed her though? Um, no. No, it turned out I've never seen genuinely Nisha talk about anybody on her channel. Of course, and I don't really watch her either, but I did watch her, you know, when her and Walt was together, I did watch, uh, you know, their videos and stuff. And they did get a lot of flack from a lot of people, you know, um, when he got with her. But, yeah, I really don't watch her too much. Well, actually, I don't watch her at all now. But, like, I don't watch a lot of other people. You know what? I think genuinely, Nisha, what she messed up at when her and Walt, when she got with Walt, right? Mm -hmm. She was doing too much. Mm -hmm. um, she, and yeah. that's why people didn't like her. You have to ease your way in. Yeah. And she came, she blocked people's comments and all yeah, that. Yeah. It's a nice way. Yeah. But it's the way that you come in. Yeah. And that was her only thing because she's a nice lady. Yeah, she seems like it. And I apologize to her because Loka said that she caught her job and got her fired. Mm -hmm. But to turn out, she got fired because she was doing videos at work. Mm -hmm. And so I apologize. Very few people I apologize. Even like with Money Boy Trey and Joy Chitchat. When um, PP got cool with them, I just didn't want no group of people no more. I was done. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like the way that they came out, but one thing about Money Boy, he don't deny how he is. Mm -hmm. When he, he started that fake beef with Boy Stop Capping, mm -hmm. and I had Boy Stop Capping back because I thought it was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I always ask this question, how do you feel about your YouTube journey? Mm -hmm. If people come out and start a fake beef or cloud chasing, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. And so I had an issue with that. But um, I went off on Money Boy Trey and Joy mm -hmm. Chitchat. Mm -hmm. And behind the scenes, they was like, well, let's talk about it tomorrow. And I was like, okay. But I'm hungover. I'm drunk, right? Mm -hmm. I get up the next morning and go, baby, I went off in a video. So mm -hmm. that's how our beef stopped. So it was mm -hmm. two reasons why I made a man. For one, I knew it would piss PP off. The second was I started it. I did. Um, to this day, shout out to Joy Chit Chat because they said some good fun. See, I'm one of these type of people. If you get me and it's funny, I'm a laugh. Mm -hmm. A lot of people take this shit too. They said some good shit. Mm -hmm. um, it was her birthday the other day. And she said, you know what, Michael? Because you know she live in Las Vegas, right? She said, I called her. I said, you slot machine pussy bitch. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> She was like, I gave her some of this slot machine coochie. I don't get mad. Mm -hmm. Only the truth hurts you. Right. I don't, if you say something funny, I'm going to give you your kudos. That's good. Right. But you can never outdo me. Right. I, I am the, the clapback king. Mm -hmm. But I, you know what I realized? I can't watch a lot of my videos back. Okay. Because mm -mm. I can't believe. I, I played a video of me going off on PP. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe that I went so hard and said so many of those things. Yeah, you be kind of up. Which one? Look, something. But if I'm sober, I'll do an intelligent cuss you out. Mm -hmm. If I'm drunk, baby. You I'm be kind of up. You did a live one day. I didn't know what the hell you were saying. You was so up from the flow up. And I think you was outside of the hospital. You was feeling real oh, good. That's when the guy walked past and said, don't put me on camera. Uh-huh. Because my mom was, yeah. I mean, you was feeling real good. But my thing is this. I'm a black man. I'm gay. The only boy. Short. So I've always, you know. Oh, I forgot to take that thing out of there. Mm -hmm. But my thing is this: don't say shit if you don't want shit said back to you. And even in these YouTube streets, mm -hmm. when people say, "Oh, I like this Michael," because I really ain't cussed nobody out in a while, 
But then mm -hmm. you had those people say, I missed the other Michael. My thing is this, it's not that I'm never gonna clap back again. I'm just trying not to do it just unnecessarily. Well, let me ask you, Michael, are you messy? <laughs> I can be. <laughs> do you like the messy only, channels? Look, the only way I'm messy, I'm not messy for no reason. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do something to me, I'm going to be real messy to get your ass back. Mm -hmm. That's the do only you, way. Do you watch messy channels? Um, If it's somebody I don't like and somebody letting them have it. Mm -hmm. Or people can be whoever they are. This mm -hmm. shit with all them into it, I think that's messy as hell. Mm -hmm. and well, it seems like everybody into it with everybody, ain't they? I'm not into it with nobody. They they didn't forget about they're too busy getting into it with each other. Oh. But when I got into it with them, I was messy as hell. To, mm -hmm. Cause I'm one of these type of people. Even when me and Shelby got into it, baby, I kept saying, feed your child. To this day, she'd be like, I'm feeding my child. <laughs> uh, because okay. I is she still on YouTube? I don't know. Cause I, I think so, because that's when August went off on one. PP, it was on her channel. Oh. And she got mad because they think Anaya sent that video clip to Money Boy. Uh-huh. And she said, Naya, don't bring your ass back over here. Uh-huh. But, but, did, but did Anaya do it? I don't know. They believe she did. I don't know. Oh. But whatever it is, them the same two that was coming for me. Oh. And I gave Shelby a pass. She really went her. I actually gave her a pass. You and she, you and uh, uh, Anaya ain't into it, are y'all? Yeah. Oh, y'all are. Oh. Well, not anymore. I just don't speak. They uh -huh. come, they, listen, you ask anybody, any one of those, so many people said, why y'all mad at Michael? They couldn't give you an answer. My thing was this. I just walked away. Mm -hmm. Because you went your ass over there on PP's live and she dogging the four C gang out. You didn't say nothing. But I do a video and I'm cussing PP out and you say, Michael, uh -uh, don't do it. I said, you didn't say shit over there. So don't say nothing over here. I run my own fucking channel. Yeah. And, and, and they convinced her that I was going, baby, I ain't got time. I don't think about that shit that much to where, but if you can let somebody convince you that easily, if you weak minded like that, I'm not the one to be your motherfucking friend. I don't miss Nam what I'm I'm good. Not you say you don't miss Nam one of them. Not Nam one of theirs. So I'm good. I didn't go to them, they came to me. I knew Nam one of them. Mm -hmm. They jumped out the bushes. We love you, CMA. First of all, I'm watching somebody that just love me and I don't know your ass. It's kind of stalkerish. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's funny how all of them into it now. They're all into it. Mm. Letting each other have wow. it. Wow. But these are the same people that when somebody get into it with me, they have to group up. Because you know you probably can't handle me by yourself. And anytime somebody get into it with me, they go to everybody else that don't like me and they all try to do it. And now, now is, you, is you and Regina still cool? Is that her name? Um, I'm not mad at her, but oh. I'm I'm good. And I'm oh, gonna, okay. well, I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm gonna say this because it's the truth. When B Nicole asked me to tell her story, right? And I told it. Regina was in, in the chat to my oh, you wrong as hell. And I got so pissed because Regina, you was the one that called me and said, what is the, you was looking for the daughter. What's the name? I don't do the phony shit like that. But I ain't mad at her. I have nothing to say bad about her, but I'm mm -hmm. good. I'm good. If Now, she is one of the people I probably would speak to again. Because for me, it wasn't that serious. Yeah, because when all of them got into it with you, they fell out with me, too. And I was trying to figure out now, wait a minute. I ain't had nothing to do with none what, of it. But What made you think they fell out with you? Huh? I said, what make you think that they fell out with you? What happened? Okay, but Regina used to watch my videos. Um, What's her name? 
Uh, oh, I think one of them, I heard one of them, I think it was Shelby. She said in one of her, I was watching one of her videos on time and she said, no, I don't know who said it. Somebody said, oh, Michael over there hyping Miss Lynn up for something. And I was thinking, how is Michael hyping me up? Don't nobody hype me up. I just, you know, I listen and I comment right. and I, you know, I mean, you know, I if think, I agree I with you, I agree with you. If I don't, I don't, huh? I think you've always been neutral. I mean, I just be listening. I mean, I be commenting. I mean, I be trying to make it make sense. Like, what is all this about? You know. But I will. I will say this about Regina. She follows Shelby, and I don't understand it because you're the older one, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna let a child lead me. And then I had to. I had to re realize that mm -hmm. I'm arguing with people that's young enough to be my children. Mm -hmm. And when I got to the point where Cause when she called me a molester, that pissed me off. Who? So, I, Regina? No, Shelby. Oh. She was like, Michael, you touch your niece, you touch your nephew. That pissed me off. So now I'm talking about everybody. And I was like, you know what? Let me leave this alone. Because now I'm going to go somewhere ugly and I can be dirty. Baby, I can go lower to anybody. I've given a lot of bitches passes. There was another girl in your chat. I can't remember her name. She used to call me Auntie Lynn. She used to be over there commenting on my videos all the time. What was her name? I think she fell out with Anaya. Are you talking about the big light skin girl? No, I'm talking about she said her. They said they said they was like twins or something. Oh. Oh, uh, Angel. Love Angel. Love Angel. Well, I listen. I don't know what happened. Me and Love Angel talked on the phone one day. Her and Anaya fell out, and. She was letting her have it. I haven't heard anything from her. I think she changed her name, but I don't know. But at the end yeah, of the day, I was like, "Why did she fall out with me? I didn't never. I'm, I'm, less, I'm just, I'm, I be tripping off of everybody. I'd be like, why did they fall out with me? Because I affiliate myself with you. I mean, is that it? And uh, and if that's the case, I have moderators that are moderators in Boy Stop Cap and shit. That you're trying to do too much control. I, mm -hmm. These are grown ass people. Mm -hmm. I don't give. If you now, if you fuck with somebody I don't fuck with, the most I'm gonna do is not come on your panel. If mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm not gonna say Lynn. I don't. That's so high schoolish. I can yeah, fuck, I can whoever I wanna, I can fuck with whoever I want to fuck with. Yeah, and that is the problem with these bitches. They take this shit too, because a lot of them, well, even offline. When I would call Shelby, it'd be Shelby, Regina, four, five people on the phone. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. And I realized this. I'm a little, I had more to lose than any of them. Yeah. Well. So it didn't make no sense. No, I don't. And I'm not bisexual, y'all. Now, let me say. <laughs> oh, Lord. But I think my thing is this. Like you said, I haven't missed a beat. I'm still doing me. Still doing you. Yeah. I ain't mad at nobody. Mm -hmm. They've tried to take supporters away, try to turn people against me. If you 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 can't turn you can't change nothing that's for you. What's for you is for you. Right. Well, it is what it is. People are who they are, and things are going to be the way they're going to be. And ain't nothing we could do about it. I ain't worried about it. You know, I don't. Do you, I'm barely is, on here. What do you feel about your YouTube journey? My YouTube journey. At, you know, at first I was digging it, but now not so much. I don't know, maybe because I've slacked off, you know what I'm saying? I don't have the uh, bases that I used to have, you know, with the people as much because I'm not really putting much out there. Um, so I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to come back from that. Sometimes, you know, I, maybe if I came back strong, I, you know, maybe, you know what I'm saying? But right now, my heart just ain't really in it. It's just not into it that much. What, what, are your, what did your husband feel about you on YouTube? Uh, he encouraged me. You know, I wanted to quit after the first year. When I became monetized, I really said, 
I'm going to just see if I can get this channel monetized, and then I'm done. Once I got monetized, then people start saying, well, this is where the, where the hard work begins. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to keep on going and see what it do. You know what I'm saying? But I had been wanting to stop doing YouTube. And he was like, no, keep going. Keep going. Let me and ask so, you, what, is it hard? Um, your two sons on YouTube, right? Well, just Michael's not on here no more. Oh, he's not on here no more? No. But have they ever said, Mama, I'm mad when somebody says something to you? Because it would be hard for me. If my mom was on here, you think I took up for PP, I would not the fuck up for my, even though she can handle her own. Well, just Michael is a no nonsense type of guy. He has no filter and he's just not really into, you know, so did, look, did, did he say anything about you when the two girls came for you? Did he mm -mm. say anything about it? I don't even think he probably don't even know because I ain't ever told him because it, he's the type of person he don't want to hear it. He don't want to hear about nothing messy. He don't want to hear. He he just he ain't he ain't that person that we want to hear all that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you, he's he's the type of person you can't even call him with no problems or nothing. He don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? He's just a no nonsense type of person. Period. You know what I'm saying? Now, real talk would be, I didn't really go to him and tell him about them either until. Um, later on and then when i tried to show him uh what they had wrote uh they had deleted it it was deleted so i just feel like you know i don't bring my key i don't bring them into it because i can handle me you know what i'm saying it wasn't that serious for me i mean these people on here they you know they say what they say and do what they do but they don't bother me like that now if i got to a point to whereas i really felt like i needed some uh help yeah, I got two sons and a daughter. And like I said, I got my brothers. You know what I'm saying? If I the, the, felt like somebody you know, was messing with me and then again, on here, they'll get them straight, huh? And Quick. then again, I don't really think it's that serious. No, so it ain't that people serious. That we don't know. But let me ask you this. When it comes to me, when I go off, do you? I don't go off unless somebody fuck with me, right? Mm -hmm. So when... A woman called me fag or something, and I go off and say bitch and all of that. Mm -hmm. Is you think that that's wrong because I didn't nut it up? I mean, people, women, they call each other bitch. So why would you get mad when a man call you one when y'all call when they call each other that? Right. How you feel some type of way because a man called you one when you sit up there and call everybody else one? Make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Just like a lot of people said you had a problem with fat people. You remember that? <laughs> Right. The fat women. You always calling women fat. I mean, if you fat, you fat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, my thing If your this, ass is fat, you fat. I'm fat. My thing is this. Hey, if you call me fat, I'm, I'm going to be like, well, okay, and I, I know this already. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this. I'm, well, I'm, I'm fat. I'm P-H-A-T fat. I'm so. My thing is this. I'm talking about the fat bitch I'm talking about. Right. When somebody say the word fat, I don't take that literally because you're not talking to me. Because everybody can say what they want to say about you, but then when you come back and you know at them with a response, then they get in their feelings. Not oh, he shouldn't right. have said it's that. He shouldn't have said that. Well, you shouldn't have said what you said about him. Yeah. But like you said, don't start it. Don't start none. Won't be none. I mean, you can't expect to sit up here and, and put your mouth on somebody else and say call them every name in the book, and then expect for them not to call you no name. And a bitch right. is part of it. Yeah, you know, everybody call everybody a bitch. My mama called me a bitch in a minute. <laughs> you be like, bitch, listen here. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but I don't I, play those. You know, I don't. I don't sit up here and be like, bitch. You know what I'm saying to people because I don't play like that. I don't want you calling me no bitch. But if you call me one, I mean, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I might let it slide. I might not. It just depends on what day you catch me on, how I'm feeling. You know, people just right. be doing the most on YouTube, you know, when it comes to all that. Everybody feel like they can say what they want to say about whoever they want to talk about, however they want to talk about them. But then when somebody else respond to it or say something about them, it's a problem. You like don't I want said, no smoke. Don't be out here blowing none. Right. Like I said, don't put it out there if you don't want it back at the end of the day. Right. And I think a lot of there's a lot of men in prison because somebody called them bitch and they killed somebody over a word. Now you in prison being somebody's bitch. But I think what it was was they said that you was only calling women bitches. I called. But wasn't it only women coming after you? 
at I the, don't know. Because I didn't catch all the uh uh you know people that you were y'all was into it with. But my thing is this, it was no men coming. I think Boy Stop Capping was the first man that came at me. And you called him one, didn't you? I had no problem. Didn't you call him one too? A nigga bitch all day long. <laughs> Listen, anybody can get it. <laughs> you called it what? When I call somebody a bitch, it's because either you said <laughs> but wait, you said you call a boy stop capping what? A nigga bitch. <laughs> a punk bitch. Oh Lord have mercy. And still to this day, I have no problem with it. Hell, he more bitch than me. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Especially when your eyebrows that arch. Oh Lord, y'all be into it, and I don't even be knowing what y'all be into it about. I listen, I feel like any man that don't have a mustache is a bitch. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. But no, um, I I throw bitches out freely. If you fuck with me, I don't care. So for anybody to say, "Oh, you call women bitches," but nobody says they're wrong to call me a fag. Call me. A Baby, I don't just give out bitches freely. If I call you a bitch, it's because of something you said to me. I'm a nut up. That's me. And I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. If I'm arguing with a fat bitch, I'm going to call her fat. If I'm arguing with a bony bitch, I'm going to call her bony. All you got to do is not fuck with me. <laughs> don't, say shit. don't say shit to me if you don't want me to say shit to you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh my goodness. If it's a bald head bitch, I'm gonna call her a bald head bitch. Oh my goodness. I just think people are so hilarious on YouTube. It's funny. I get kicks and giggles out of some of the people on here though. You but can't I'm help but laugh. Good. It'd be it be comical. I'm gonna tell you this, my baby sister, when me and her talk, I'll be like, hey bitch, she say, Hey ho. We don't take this shit that's right. Yeah. But I just don't call people bitches just to call them bitch. You really have to do something to me. And so when the people used to get mad, the one lady was like, well, I'm a big girl. I said, baby, I wasn't talking to you. Get out your feelings. Yeah, they said you just got a problem with fat women. I maybe you just got a problem with fat people, period. I call a bitch fat if they're fat and I'm arguing with you. I got so many big women in my fat. My grandma was a big woman. So mm -hmm. that it, get out your feelings. Stop taking shit. Yeah, yeah, it's just a saying. You fat bitch, what? you. You well, know, I'm just saying. You know, this? people say that. How about you this? fat bitch? You ugly bitch? You know, people say that. I'm saying. But how about this? I'm talking to the bitch I'm arguing with. Mm -hmm. So what? I have high metabolism. <laughs> but Whew. a big woman. Ain't nothing wrong with the curvy women. That's just like I did a comedy show, right? And I'm cracking joke. It's a real big fat lady on the front row. So I do a joke, everybody laughing. And so I stand by her. I said, okay, y'all, let me talk about the elephant in the room. And I looked at her. She was like, bitch, I'll beat your head. I said, man, <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. She was like, I'll meet you in the parking lot. I said, baby, you are the parking lot. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. you kind of. I don't know why people take shit so seriously. Because comedians do it all the time. They pick somebody in the audience and talk about them. But you can't tell me what I feel. I'm a grown-ass man. Mm -hmm. If a bitch that I don't, first of all, I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. If you don't think I like big people, that's on you. Mm -hmm. I don't take everything people say about gay people. Well, would you date a fat person, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Everybody got a preference. Not a fat guy. I can do mm -hmm. a fat woman, but I won't do a fat guy. What's the difference? I don't want... If he got titties, I might as well get a woman. Mm -hmm. All of that, that that is just not me. Mm -hmm. um, not, that's just my preference. Like Some people like tall people. Some people like short people. Just for me, that don't work for me. Would you date yeah. a fat person? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, so no. Why not? Because I like skinny men. <laughs> so, look, and it's nothing wrong 
So that's just my preference. I've always been attracted to skinny men. But the one thing that bothers me is when a fat guy say, I don't mess with um, guys. Bitch, guys. Or a nice built man, you know what I'm saying? I don't even like a, a built guy. I like a man that looks good in his clothes. But you hear me? I won't even mess with a built guy. You won't? And you know why? Why? Because I talk too much shit. They be done whoop my head. Uh, okay. You go upside. They be in an oops upside your head. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Michael, you a mess. Callie, Vanessa said, I'm still here, y'all. That's Callie, my girl. Vanessa always saying, that's my girl. But look, let me. I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. Um, man, you can talk all night. You still working? I'm off right now. That look, you must have got fired because you didn't. No, answer. I didn't get fired. No, I'm messing with you. I didn't get fired. No, I didn't get fired. But it's you just, uh, I had to recuperate from my surgery. I'm still, I'm still healing. Oh, okay. I didn't know you had surgery. Mm-hmm. How you doing? You doing all right? I am. I'm doing so much better. Your, look, how your husband? He's fine. Look, he he the one that got you drunk that night. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't had a drink in uh, probably since the last time I did a live. But look, when you interviewed me, he was hooking you up. He was. Oh, he called QST, my baby. Hold on. Hey, QST, sweetheart. Hey. What are you driving to? I'm driving home. Now, Lynn, you know, this is QST, the one that her and Sweet Rita set up the meet and greet. Okay. You need to come down here on the 15th. On September the 15th? What day is that on? That's my husband's birthday. Oh, I don't it's know. On a Thursday. Huh? On a Thursday. It's on a Thursday? Thursday? Yeah. Oh. Uh. That's I'm during the week. Thursday because, yeah, because that's the day they got that concert on. I wish mm -hmm. it was on a Saturday because I got to take off work for that. But it is what it is. I guess it may have worked bad. But you know what I thought about QST? Yes. I'm kind of, I'm thinking about when it comes to the concert. Because, you know, me and Freddie Jackson used to mess around. Lord have mercy. No, I'm just... <laughs> On his unsung, he said he don't speak about his personal life and ain't nobody's business, and he got a wife. So he just but we, no, we already know. Yeah. What are you on your way to? I just got off work, and I heard you guys talking. I was like, let me get on and say hi. I, heard, I was listening the whole time, but I, you know, I was at work. So I just got off on this California freeway. It's kind of empty for a change. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to come down and see you and sweet Rita and just, you know, have some fun, a couple of drinks and go to the concert. It's going to be nice. Well, I have to say this. I'm really shocked and so appreciative that y'all thought enough to want to do it. Yeah. You know, I, I, I kind of travel a lot anyway. And I was like, I, you know, I wanted to, I've never been to Detroit. I want to go to that Motown Museum too. I, hopefully I have time to do it. Um, but I was like, you know, this would be the perfect time to come on down there and, and see the uh, the um, legendary com comedian Michael Allen. I can't even go to a downtown without getting noticed. Uh, I listen, <laughs> I, listen, I almost started crying. Yeah, that was nice. That was sweet. I think I need a bodyguard now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but, yeah, I get, I get noticed, too, when I walk into the police station. I'm like, there she goes. No, I'm just playing. That's a joke. <laughs> but look, you know what? You were talking about the Motown Museum, right? Uh-huh. There's a front. I've been at so many funerals right next door. Do you know I've never been to the um, Motown Museum? Oh, really? Right. It's just like, it's so normal. Yeah. That's just like a lot of things. When people come to California, like, you do this, you do that. And I'm like, I live here. I'm like, I don't, I never do it. Because, you know, I'm here. But, you know, when people come from out of town, I get to experience the cities I live in because they are so excited to come. So I tell some people when I come to Detroit, I can't wait to come. 
Look, that's like when I went to Philadelphia, right? Mm -hmm. The first, it was two things I wanted to do. Give me a, a cheesesteak and run up them Rocky, the steps that Rocky ran up. Mm -hmm. I ran up them oh, steps, yeah. but I couldn't, mm -hmm. look, I was so tired. I couldn't, I, it took me a minute to go back down. Them. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Hawaii about five years ago and they got this thing, it's called, um, I don't know what they call it, but you go up this steep, steep mountain, the stairs, but it's so narrow, right? You going up and then you got people falling out and getting sick and then you got the ambulance or the, the paramedic people bringing people down. I told my sister, I, I can't do that. Yeah, I got it. So they went up and I stayed down. So they do they, there. so do they, um, you know, they eat a lot of spam in Hawaii, right? Uh-huh. So did you taste any dishes that's different that we do with spam? No, no. My sister was turning 50, so we went to this, uh, I think I have filet, filet mignon. I didn't do no, no spam or nothing like that. But we did a lot of uh, sightseeing. I went to see what they did, Gilligan's Island, uh, Hawaii, was it Hawaii Five-O? Hawaii Five-O. But the most, the most, one thing I really like is we went to um, Pearl Harbor. That was that was something else. I wasn't even expecting that. So I, I recommend everybody to go there when they, if they ever get a chance to go to Waikiki. So that was uh, that was kind of unexpected. It was really good. Just like when I went to the Prince um, Paisley Park, they turned it into like a, a museum. And you go in there, and you, there's just a lot of stuff that's gonna happen that you don't realize. And I don't want to spoil it in case I ever go, but. You ever go to um, where is he at Minneapolis? Got to go to Paisley Park, man. So, what part of California are you from? Um, uh, I'm from Compton, California. You know what Easy and all those folks. <laughs> I was born in Com. I mean, I wasn't born in Compton, but oh, you on, you in the rough side? No, I was. I live in L I live in L.A. now. I live in Los Angeles now, but um, yeah, I was raised up in Compton. It was my first. 19 years, I think from 5 to 19, I stayed in Compton. Yep. So I don't play CMA, so when I get down there, we might have to arm wrestle or something. I'm going to show you how tough I am. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in Compton. My sister went to school with EZ. I didn't know him, but, um, you know, Compton was Compton was cool back in the days. It's, it's not the same now, of course, but back in the days, you know. So look, what made you decide to come down here to come to Detroit? Um, uh, to see you and Sweet Rita, and I love Howard Hewitt. I like Freddie Jackson too, um, but I love Howard Hewitt, and I really wish uh, Keith Washington was on that concert. That would have been like the complete package. But um, yeah, I want to come see you and, and and meet Sweet Rita, and I've never been to Detroit. Like I said, I do a lot of traveling. Uh, I used to do a lot of traveling for my job, and of course, when the pandemic hit, uh, we stopped. But um, so I'm used to getting out, and I was like, you know what? This would be a perfect time to go see uh, the legendary comedian Michael Allen in person to see what he's all about. You know. Now you know you got a tear in my eye. That's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, it, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be nice. Um, me and my sister coming, my other sister, the last minute, I want to go, I want to go, so I'm trying to get her on the flight with us, but she may not be coming, but, um, my sister's birthday is September 3rd, and we're having our family reunion that weekend, so I told her to come go to Detroit with me, and I'm a treat her to the concert, so she's going to come, that's my birthday present to her, so she's coming with me. Well, I'm and, so, ex know, I'm so excited. Yeah, something, you know, something, I think that's what life is about, getting out, doing stuff with your family, your friends, or just, I, I get up and go to Vegas by myself. I like to live life, you know, I don't want to just sit around, you know, and I do nothing. So I think I like to go out and make memories and stuff with people and, you know, family and friends. That's just something I like to do. You know, a couple of my family members come in and they bought tickets to the concert as well. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was calling them folks that, <laughs> I know them people at that hotel fire was like, who is this lady? But I was really trying to, you know, I was trying to figure something out, but it, we still were having a good time. It didn't work out, but we got the tickets and we got the rooms and I was trying to reserve a room, but 
they they were booked up for that those days, probably because of that concert. And look, I was like, I was like, if QST don't tell me today, so I'll know. <laughs> I, you know what? I didn't say a word. It's a sweet reader. I said, sweet reader. We're not gonna tell them me nothing until we get close. I think that the next day or the next few hours, you gonna lie. We coming down there. I was like, sweet reader, you can't hold water. She so sure did. I, I said, quit uh, doxing me. We go be at the Motor City. I said, sweet reader, you're doxing me. <laughs> you know, Re Baby gonna be there too. Who? You know, re baby to go crazy show. No, no. The one, the 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 one that I was at the. Did you see that video when I was playing Uno? Yeah. Downtown. That's re baby. Uh -huh. the, the like the one I'm. Um, I interviewed him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a lady named Miss G. That's on that's um on my, on the other side in my old in my other community that I be in. Uh, I didn't know she lived in Detroit, but she said she might come up there. And meet us, and I thought, you know, all is welcome. Right, Charlene. I want to get to that dice table, and I want to see how we're here. And of course, CMA is sweet Rita. I just want to go have some fun. Okay, I'm staying. You know, I love the blackjack table. I'm staying away from it. <laughs> Why are you gonna stay away from? It? I want you. I want to get you on that crap table. I, I, you gotta touch the dice. You might bring me some luck. But see, that is the one thing I don't know how to play. Yeah. See, you don't. You don't. When you don't know how to play, that's when you win. If you know what you're doing, you're going to be concentrating too hard. You're going to be stressing out. Your ass going to roll the seven. We're all going to lose. Don't ever think about seven when you got the dice. Unless now, you you see, look, you saw when um Coco took me to the casino. I um I won $1,000 uh -huh. that night. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right. But I'm so excited I'm about on the blackjack table. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, blackjack. Hello. Is it regular blackjack? Like, can you hear me? Barely. I can hear you. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the regular okay. blackjack table. Oh, okay. Cause out here in California, I don't gamble in California, but they got California blackjack, and you can go over twenty-one and all that. I don't like that. So I don't really gamble out here. I just gamble when I go to Vegas. We got three casinos here. Yeah. Uh, Miss Miss Lynn, you ever been to Vegas? No, not yet. You got to get Michael on that plane one of these days. Y'all got to come on down. Maybe next summer. In the summer? Or uh, whenever. I'm just, I'm just throwing out something. Yeah, I wouldn't well, I mind coming out there, you know, when it's cold, though, in, like, de November, December. I mean, when it's oh, a little yeah, when it's, warmer. When it's cold, it's cold. When it's hot, it's hot. So, oh. they, if they, they're too extreme. Is, it, is there in between? I, I don't live in Vegas, but I, I it may be in between. Oh, you said you but was I, in I California. <laughs> yeah, I'm in California. I'm four, I'm four hours away from Vegas. I'm sorry, oh, okay. I work. Sometimes I get out work and just keep on going. Okay. Yeah. You in yeah. LA. That's where my sister lives. One of my sisters. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be traveling this year, this year, in the next couple of months. I'm going to head out that way, though. Oh, really? Yeah, me and my husband. Uh -huh. QST. Okay. Yes, sir. So... What day are you coming down here? Okay, so here's the thing, right? I was trying to come Wednesday morning, but I have to work. So I'm going to work early, get off. I'm leaving Wednesday night. The only flight I can get is going to get me there early Thursday morning. So I already called the hotel. They're going to let me do an early check-in. I think they, they the hotel thing got slick now. They charge you for the early check-in. So I tell the lady, I don't care. Just let me get the early check-in because I want to go in, take a shower, put my clothes on and then so I can meet you guys and I'm coming fresh off the plane. All right, all right. We Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was trying to come Wednesday night. I I'll, I'll explain it more to you when I get down there. But um I I, I, could, I had I had to go to work on Wednesday, so I got those other days off. And then I'm flying back on Saturday. Because the issue was the motor, the motor casino was only going to give me a room for Thursday night. 
So and I was like, well, I don't like flying nowhere and just turning around, getting back on the plane. I need like two days to detox. So that, I couldn't get Wednesday, so I got Thursday. So then me and my sister was like, we'll just go to a different hotel. So I kept calling the hotel back. And she was like, oh, I'm we got some rooms that opened up. I guess they had some calculations. So now I can. I got Thursday night and Friday night at the hotel. But I can't get Saturday night. I said, well, I'm just going to go back home. I'm going to have to cook something. I'm going to cook something for you. What you cooking? I don't know. I'm going to cook a uh, good soul food, Devin, to show my appreciation. Okay, okay. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll talk when it gets sooner. You know, I'm, I'm on my committee for our family reunion, and I'm a guy. We had to fold and iron 167 shirts, and that's not even all my family. And then we got to put them by ages and by families. Oh, I'm, I've been working so hard. So I'm going to be busy after the beginning of September. That the weekend after, uh, two weeks after my reunion, I'll be down there. So I'm, I'm going to need that relaxation when I come. And our okay. reunion is for three days. It's, for, it's a three-day reunion. So it's going to be really nice. So. But anyway, I ain't trying to come take over your show with you and uh, Miss uh, Lynn. I just came up to say hi and wanted to talk while I was driving home. You know, I, look, I, you know, I love my cup, right? Yeah, you do. I'm going to have to bring it to the casino. <laughs> bring it. You see the, you see the, uh, the calendar I made, um, Joy? Yeah, listen, I love it. I loved it. But, you know, I'm yeah. so petty. I'm so petty, right? Don't say it. I was like, why is he, look, I was like, I'm on a calendar with these people. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, that was a nice calendar. The first calendar I made, it was with all y'all. And then every time I got ready to make the calendar, somebody fell out. Okay, I got to take this person off. Because I make another one. Then somebody fell out again. I said, you know what? The hell with it. Because before I can make the calendar, y'all beef it. But I made one for B. Nicole. And I made B. Nicole a puzzle that says, The Heart of YouTube. She haven't right. shown it yet. Yeah, it says, The Heart of YouTube. And I made her a calendar also. So Wait a minute, you, do you have a site? No, I don't have a site. I used to do them, but my machine broke. But I just personalize it. I just customize it for people, and I go and have them do it. But oh, no, okay. I, I, don't, I don't make them myself. V. No. Nicole, love that calendar. Oh, she, yeah, it was nice. And uh, the reason why I like her calendar so much because the pictures are not pictures. It's videos that she did, and I screenshotted it and made sure they were clear. So it wasn't like pictures that she took. It's pictures I made from her video. So mm. that made it more that made it more special. And then I made her a I made her a calendar and it had all the people comments. You know how when everything came out about her mother and stuff and everybody was say, Oh B Nicole, we love you, we support you Every month I got people comments on the calendar to let her know that she has support and love. So she sees that on December, it's a lot of people comment that's on the back of her calendar. So she'll know how we support her on YouTube. Yep, and then I made her the puzzle, the queen of the heart of YouTube, for her and her family, her kids, and her husband. Can y'all hear me? I, I can hear you. Okay. Well, Michael, you don't want my battery out. Okay, uh -oh. yeah. Okay, y'all. I got to get up in the morning, too. Wait, um, look at this city, baby. See all them red lights? I told you, I know I'm going to catch some damn traffic. Look at all them red lights. Uh, okay, I'm going to get off the freeway so I can find my way home. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. All right, Go you ahead. too. You too. Love there, girl. Okay. All right. Drive bye -bye. careful. I will. Bye-bye. All right, Miss Lynn, I got to get down off of here. Look, command, Commander bed. said, if y'all don't take y'all's asses to bed. That's my bed. <laughs> Good morning, Uncle Mike, the beautiful Mrs. Lynn. Thank you, Commander. How, how mama doing, Commander? Okay, y'all, look, I love you guys. Thank y'all for rocking and hanging with me. I'm sitting there, I have a good time. Love y'all. I'm not drinking no more. But no, anyway, love y'all. It's 2.54 in the morning. Shout out to Lynn for coming up, talking with me, kicking the breeze. Shout out to QST, sweet reader. We're going to have a beautiful time for the meet and greet. Um, 
If you can make it, come on. All right. I'm waiting on you, um, Commander. How's your mother doing? Before I get off of here. Is mama doing all right? Sweet Rita. Oh, my baby's still in here, Sweet Rita. She's okay. She's sleeping, and I'm laying here on the on this let out chair. I'm not leaving my mama. Fuck that job. I know that's right. All right, I'm praying for it. Um, it's going to be all right. All right, you guys. Let me get in here lay my butt down so I can get up in the morning. Thanks for hanging out with me. Celebrity. Y'all saw the video. Legendary CMA. All right. Comedian Michael Allen. I'm out. Peace.